Yo. Yo, yo. <laughs> what the fuck? <clears throat> yo. Hello. Sorry I'm a bit late. What up? Let's go. How are you guys doing today? What up, what up? What up, what up, what up? You need a new build? Have you played have you played this? Play this, bro. It's good. <clears throat> this build is fucking crazy, bro. Honestly, who knows <clears throat> if they nerf it, but even if they nerf it, it's still insane. Yeah, it's a good starter. Like, it actually is. Did I just drop a T7 int? <clears throat> That's good. We cook with that. Good morning, good morning. Hello, hello. How are we doing today, boys? I thought I ran out of tabs already. <clears throat> what happened to my voice? I woke up and forgot to check if it still works, I guess. <clears throat> Hello? You know, like, singers gotta do, like, vocal exercises, bro. I just <laughs> they gotta just start doing that shit, I guess. Have you ever actually seen a singer do vocal exercises? It's fucking weird. You mean the bow build? Um, the bow build actually is a max roll, yeah. It is. It's called um, Blast Rain Marksman. Is this PV? Uh, it is not PV. Wrong game. I wish it was PV. Do you have gear for that build, Vitus? Already? Because that build gets really fucking good if you have, um... If you have gear for it, but otherwise it's kinda... It's kinda bit sus. Why am I running out of mana? <clears throat> What's wrong with me? I like fucked up my mana at the start of the map.
Man, if that was on a good base. If I find an Omnis with LP, then I'll just slam that shit on there. Also, I'm looking for a helmet, the Bone Clamor. I need that with LP. That way I'll have, like, with Bone Clamor, I think I get, like, 6k base ward. So I don't have to ever rely on, um... <clears throat> I don't even have to rely on, like, the trick. Okay, D7 health. We take those. I think maybe I take this off for now. <clears throat> High value affixes. I don't really feel like I need to shatter anything right now. Maybe I'll put it back on once I need something specific. Right now, only 400. But today, we go as far as we go. So far, I only managed to... Basically, like, set up my uniques and stuff. So I had to farm, like, dungeons and whatnot. <clears throat> And then all my blessings. But now I have all that shit sorted, so. I don't think I need any blessings. Yeah, I got my multi. I got my armor. My percent armor. My resistances. I mean, technically I could get like 15% more damage if I was to go for higher roll. Necrotic res. Blessing, but. You know. Attunement. Yo, double helmet. Let's go. What's up, RTK? I think in theory, like, the only thing that's gonna stop this build from pushing is, is, like, literally just damage, but... I the, the damage is like so fucking high as well. Like this build is just crazy. It does ins insane damage and it's infinitely tanky. Like look at the ward. Looks like I'm about to run out, right? Nope. <laughs> it starts back at 65k. <laughs> no. You can just reset it. <laughs> mm. 120,000 ward. Okay. <laughs> Yo, what's up, Medivh? Exclamation mark LE profile. There's like a there's currently a node which is like bugged and it's giving you ten times the amount of ward it's supposed to. But originally we didn't really know that. <laughs> so we just built the build around it, but we later found out it was bugged. And... Yo, the scurry helmet. If it were not bugged, it would still be insanely strong. But since it's bugged, it's just broken. Like... <clears throat> and you get it through consuming your minions with... Um, uh, with this, with Profane Veil. Because there's a note in Profane Veil that says... 4% uh, of your minions' HP is converted to ward once you consume them. But it turns out the devs typed 40 instead of 4. <laughs> PoE players bug abusing. Okay, to my defense, bro, I didn't know it was a bug when I made the build. I was, uh, we found that later.
What's this game? Uh, Last Epoch. It's an ARPG developed by EHG. It's pretty good. It's been in beta for like four years, bro. But it's finally fucking out. And finally, the servers are functioning and stuff. I developed ADHD. <laughs> Wait, why am I getting so many prismatic gaze? This is supposed to be a rare drop. And I want like bone clamor, so I'm upset. The prismatic gauge. Are you still playing, uh, Medivh? That was a bit laggy. Plus three, summon Wraith. Maybe we keep that. If you asked about TI, how you play TI? I heard this preseason is not the greatest. <clears throat> I haven't looked at it at all though. I hope next league they don't um, overlap with PoE, but I think they will. I think they will, bro. Yo, what's up, clicks? Hello. Yeah, I was like creeping a bit. I saw you streaming Ellie to your friends. You deleted it. Well, that's cause, well, because of the servers or just because you don't like it? Yo, Clicks, thank you so much for the sub, bro. I appreciate you, sir. You love Ellie? Yeah, I think it's very fun. I enjoy this game. My back is scuffed from working in boots. What kind of boots? What? Of like uh like wellies. Maybe it's because you play the exploding ballista. Exploding ballista build is pretty strong. You should play this though. Like seriously, if you play this, don't re-roll another ranger or not ranger, but you know. Full leather boots. Okay, <laughs> like this is a potential upgrade, but the likelihood of crafting this is very low. Just doesn't click for you. Yeah, fair enough. Okay. I need to annul off something. What do I do? I don't know. Just chaos it, I guess. Double infernal shade. Uh, it's it's kind of bricked. Yeah, unlucky. Are uh, you gonna play this as that big build of the league, um, or else you'll just pull the rest of the classes? That's fair, to be honest. Because, yeah, this is just, like, broken. Like, look at that. The damage is insane, too. For our tank you are, it's just, like... Yeah, Wardlock, it means. You get damage scaling from overcapping your necrotic resistance. 
and from crit multi, even though you're a dot, because you have these two nodes. So it's Twisted Fate gives you 2% more damage per, uh, like, Necrotic Res uh, over cap, like, uncapped, right? So, per 2% uncapped Necrotic Res. And you get 3% more damage per 2, so... <laughs> and then you get 1% more Necrotic damage per added multi, so you just, like, stack multi and Necrotic Res on everything. I have, like, 640 Necrotic Resistance. But no, I don't get damage from Ward. I get damage from... Basically, like, igniting myself. So I cast a spell, and it ignites me. And the spell gives me 5 spell damage, stacking up to 40. So when I'm at 40, like, 40 plus, I'm getting a fuck ton of flat damage. And then you can, like, snapshot this thing. And you only need to do that when you're on single target, but... You, you just cast that shit to 40, and you drop it. And then you just, like, drop your little thingies. You consume them with Profane Veil, that's how you get your ward. But also when you're inside of Profane Veil, you deal like 10 times the damage you normally would. So it's kind of, it's kind of like, you know, like a combination of things, but it ends up just being completely broken. What is this? What is that? What is that? <laughs> what is this? Uh, is that Umbral Blades? What the fuck? First translate page. Why is it like in 16 pixels, bro? Also, where the fuck do you translate page? Falconer is an infinite stacking bug. You can smoke bomb and can stack infinitely so you can hang up and stand still to complete your life. Now that, that explains everything. Complete your life. <laughs> What well, what's the bug? You basically just like create infinite infinite shadows with smoke bomb. Cool. Yeah, I mean the game is a bit goofy, bro. There's there's like plenty of like goofy little things in this game, which are still like bugged. Yo! Hey, Mr. Hungus Bug is just bought last epoch. Hang on. I forgot to like turn on my TTS. Yo, let me play that again. Yo, thank you, Hungus Bungus, for buying last epoch, bro. I appreciate that. Hungus Bogus bought last epoch from Nexus.gg slash crouching tuna. Okay, we get an upgrade crit multi, 2% more damage. We take those. Well, Atropy could be like actually pretty pretty decent. Yo, three LP runs vision. Holy. Smoke bomb is already like seventy percent of your damage. You're not even using that. Maybe, maybe I need to do some exploits. <laughs> Why not, bro? Don't look at it as like, oh, I'm exploding or whatever, just fucking, it's like, you know, beta testing, that's what it is. Even though we're not in beta anymore. I need to go grab some prophecies soon. 
But today we just fucking rush corruption. I wonder how much I can get in one day if I'm like at 350 now. How do you find items if you rush objectives? Um, I mean, you rush objectives, but you still kill a lot of stuff on the way. So everything, you know, everything that you find on the way, that's that's basically the items you get. Also, I don't know if you're a Circle of Fortune, but Circle of Fortune really just gives so much loot, so... You don't have to worry all that much about loot. And yeah, I'm still killing, like, a lot of stuff on the way. 1,100? Bro, 1,100? I bet this build could just, like, sleep at 1,100. That's the thing. Uh, like, I genuinely feel like 1.1k on this build would be... Like, at AFK. Increased crits. My goal for today is just getting like a uh, 2 LP bone clamor. That would be fucking sick. I have lots of helmets that I can actually put into it. I don't think I'm gonna bother redoing my belt anytime soon because I don't feel like running the dungeon again. Yo, I'm doing well, thank you, how are you? What build is this? Um, let me t let me get the profile from the Twitch chat. L.E. Profile. There you go, that's my profile. You can basically see it just like uh, as if it were a builder or something. Yo, Mr. Fish Barrel. Yeah, I saw it. I saw it. Five minutes AFK fishing. Yeah, it's good. I will get that shit eventually. How do I get back into Chris Stussy? Hello. Fine Pele, yeah, surely. Mm -hmm. Maybe Bro has a new song. Is the volume good chat or is it loud? The music. I can't tell, I've been fucking around a bit with my... With my audio. <laughs> good? Alright, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Hey, what's up Derek? Big fan, sir. Big fan. Thanks for the guides, dude. I learned a shitload this league from from your videos and stuff. I'm actually not a complete fucking scrub at leveling, thanks to you. Uh, I'm Circle of Fortune. Merchant Guild looks fun, but I also think finding items in this game is is the coolest is the coolest part of the game. Because <laughs> it's 
In Merchant Skills, you just kind of get everything, and then, y you know, like, if you have everything, then what's next? At least Circle of Fortune, you still have to kind of hunt for the items. But Merchant Skill looks so broken if you want to, like, push Arena or push High Corruption and that kind of stuff. Enjoying the unethical bugged ward build? Indeed. If if it wasn't bugged, by the way, it would still be broken. That's the crazy thing about this build, it's just absurd. When I made the build, I, I had no idea it was bugged. I don't, I don't think anybody really did. We all just thought it was just strong, but... Nobody was really stacking like minion health or anything, and yeah. Once you start stacking minion health, then it just becomes disgusting. Let's be honest. But even if it wasn't bugged, I would still have like, yeah, like 30k ward. Warlock is OP defensive and Falconer. Oh my, okay. Yo. I guess we do have to do a dungeon chat. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Feels good. New equals OP. Actually true. Wait, insurance threshold. Okay, no, I'm annulling that shit. Nice. Wait, that's, I think that's still, that's still playable. No, it's 16 4 What the f- Uh... Elma. To be fair though, there's like plenty of broken non-new shit, like, but it's, it's like the new shit before this new shit, so, <laughs> uh, yeah. Cause, um, yeah, Runemaster is still insane, like it's completely broken. Like, you still get, like, 30k plus ward on, on, uh, Rune Master. Just playing normally. But, and it does, like, insane damage, too, but, yeah. It's not, like, the flavor of the week or month or whatever you want to call it. Uh, how do I, what do I cook? Let me get rid of this sh shit first. A lovely Kara is one of my favorites. Make a build? Um, yeah. I saw this Korean guy play it. I don't know if he has like a build video guide or whatever the fuck. Uh. Let me see. I remember subbing to him. Yeah. I think this one. Lightning Blast, Frost Claw, Rune Master. There you go. It's like very high APM, but it's very strong. He's testing his builds in Legacy, though, mind you, but it's like achievable stuff, you know? There's nothing like fucking insane here. And it's just basically, it's like, it's the basic setup, you know, like... Strands of Soul... Tilfoon spamming mana, but then he plays Spark Charge. Which is kind of cool, I like Spark Charges. It's an interest interesting setup. If I wasn't playing this build, I would try that, it looks kind of cool. But it looks very high APM, it's the only thing. This build I'm playing right now is like actually made for boomers. Like you're just like right clicking once in a while. It's very pleasant. Spark charge is so cool. It's such a cool mechanic. I I, I think it's very very cool. Uh, 
Uh, yeah. Is the profane veil eating the spirit from the fissure? No, it's not the spirit from the fissure. It's bone curse. You, you see how like these 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 walls they count as like a minion kinda. They have like um, HP and whatnot. So you just like. I didn't think I would get this helmet so soon, like, holy fuck. 2 LP, I'm more than happy. I've dropped like 30 bone clamors and they're all like 0 LP, but this one... Or actually 1 LP, but this one 2 LP. Let's go. Now I just gotta find a helmet that's like worth... Chucking on there. I have like loads of helmets, but making a good one, it's like that's the it's the hard part. So what do we technically want on it? Like necrotic resistance, all res. Uh spell curse. Yeah, the spell damage for curses is so broken. So it's got intelligence, it's cookable. I'm afraid I'll just like start trying to craft these and none of them will be... Like all of them will be shit, I guess. I'm scared. <laughs> Necrotic Rise is always insane. We take those. Intelligence with like a fucking hundred stats. I mean, having like T6 LE res on a helmet is like... Useless, I guess. Never mind. Only problem I have is like cold res. Poison res, like, who cares, I suppose. Alright, surely I should be able to make one, right? Physical resistance. I can despair it, but we only have 30 potential. Curse. Oh my god, chat. I can't, I can't craft it yet. <laughs> oh no. I have to go shatter some stuff. Okay. So what we'll do is we'll just... Actually, you know what? I'm, I'm gonna leave this because there was some stuff there that I don't want to mess with. Affix, curse. Okay, that should be good. We just have to run a bunch of maps now to shatter. But even just putting on bone clamor makes me have like baseline, I think like five or six K ward. So then, like, the build actually becomes, you know, like, 6k ward, I feel like, is pretty respectable <laughs> already on its own. Like, if you had a build that had, like, 6k HP, you'd be like, yo, <laughs> that's pretty good. So. Yeah, what's up, Emperor? You know what? I think I'm gonna rebind. Um. Uh, we'll put that as R. As mouse button is pressed, it should be good. I thought my ward would like outlast that round, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> We're not that OP. Ah, there we go, perfect.
Yeah, you can gift items to each other so long as they're they're not like items from the faction, right? Like from your circle of fortune thing. As far as I know, that's how it works. Yo, Zito Popo One, big fan, bro. <laughs> How are you, Zito? <laughs> cool. <clears throat> <laughs> Yo, what's up, Meek? Hello. I really like how fast you can get bosses once you go up in corruption a bit. Only three level needed to have Rune Master Biskir. Yeah, merchant skills is, is broken. Next season, maybe we go, uh, we go merchant skill to try it, but like restarting or, or like changing faction is completely bricked, like completely bricked. See how much damage that did? That actually hit me for like 10k. That's crazy. Okay, a one LP, unlucky. Imagine getting a three LP spoon. <laughs> Holy mo- I don't think I'll ever get a spoon better than mine though. Like how do I get a spoon better than mine? I got so lucky slamming it. Go trade and buy. I think it's still pretty hard, no? T7 pen with T1 multi high roll? That's... I don't know. What is that? Fuck. Yo, some necrotic damage. Honestly, my rings can actually be improved. They're they're like they're fine. They could be like much better though. 
Well, I mean, they're pretty good, actually. They're still cute, is there? I mean, to be fair, there's like, what, 200,000 people trying to play the game? Or playing the game, rather? I'm not really sure what the numbers look like right now, anymore. Oh, uh, it's a visual bug, the queue? Wait, what do you mean it's a visual bug? Is there anything I should be aware of that can break my guy at all? No, you can respec. The only thing that you should be aware of is that you can't change your ascendancy. That's like, permanent. In this game. So you best be sure you want to play whatever you want to play. But leveling is... Like, once you know the route, it's quite fast. Some scepters. Mm, do I even want? I guess I want exalted scepters. I mean, I don't. Yeah, I don't think the Q is used there. I should pick that up, in case I want to play Rise's build. You never know. Is that Fire Res implicit? Curse damage, Fire Res. That's pretty good. Wish I had that base. Man, but how rare is the shard on my helmet? Like, actually. Double check that it shows up as red. Yup. I think I already have a few of those with one LP. 400 more people in it? Maybe there actually is a Q, bro. Maybe it's not a visual bug. One scepter shows up. <laughs> cool. Alright. Bro, how do I get rid of all these fucking quests on my screen? Like, what was that? <laughs> there were so many quests! Oh.
What do we get? Urzels, Shroud of Obscurity, some fucking poison rest shit. Mm. How much LP would this Shroud of Obscurity need to have for it to be worth it? Honestly, probably 3 LP. <laughs> I'm trying to dodge. Uh, maybe it higher corruptions. Who knows? Problem is, we just gotta get there. It's gonna take some time. I wish there was a way, way to automate self ignite. I I I've looked. I was like doing some research. Like I just can. Hmm. I just couldn't find a way to self ignite. The only way is to really like spam cast. But if you could like automate that shit, that would be OP. You only really ever like self ignite on single target, anyways. But imagine, just imagine, you could actually just have that shit up all the time. Usurper's mandate. Mm, never actually seen that. I, I, maybe I've never paid attention to like minion uniques to be honest. Fragment of Enigma is fucking cool. It's so cool. It's actually sad seeing how Ignite functions in this game. I think Ignite in this game is fine. It's kind of, I don't know. Like, PoE has, like, the best damage over time of any video game ever, to be honest. Damage over time in PoE is, like, so satisfying to look at. And it's, like, pretty interesting with the... Like the multi uh, fucking proliferation, faster, uh, you know, like also having like faster poisons, faster ignites. Like that stuff is so cool. You want to ignite prolifying the whole screen? If you want that, you need to play Warlock because that's basically what this dam uh, what this build does. Or you need to use Fire Starter Torch, which basically proliferates your ignites, but it's nowhere as good as the ignites uh, the prolifs on this build. Uh, what's the guy for me who has a lot of flexibility? Honestly, play Rune Master. Play Rune Master, bro. Maybe, I, I don't know. Maybe, maybe you don't want like sort of like a. It's like a puzzle, I think. But Rune Master is like. It's just a very interesting class. And also, in my opinion. Like, outside of this build specifically, probably the strongest class in the game. It's so broken. But, like, it's broken in the way that it has, like, very... It's like a overloaded kit, let's just say. To make it strong, though, you do have to use brain power, which is why I think you'll probably like it, because it's like a puzzle. Seven Ellie res. Base class, it's the mage. The Magus. You're a wizard, Captain.
There might, yeah, there might still be some undiscovered builds. Whereas, like, with the build that I'm playing, it's basically, like, there's nothing else. <laughs> there's, like, legit nothing. It's just one build. The cursed setup? Uh, the cursed guy setup? Is it? I haven't seen his setup. Do you have a Do you have a video? I'm gonna be triggered by the. Oh wait, no, you're. Passive changes due to bugs. Oh, okay. Does he have a uh, Does he have a planner or something? No ominous. Well, that's good for me because I don't have ominous yet. <laughs> I'm a pioneer. No ominous here. Yeah, that even rhymes. What the fuck? Didn't do that on purpose. Thank you so much, Jesse. Yeah, bone clamor, classic. I need to have a bone. I need to get a bone amulet, bro. Red wing. That's a bit ambitious. Twisted Heart is garbage, though. Mm. I, I think, I guess it makes sense. It makes sense because he's trying to get attributes. But, yeah, it's kind of garbage. Yeah. That's like the dream gear. Does he have? Does he have zero mana regen? He has zero mana regen. Like I get it, but it doesn't feel good. Having zero does not feel good. Using a 4 LP necrotic tome. Holy fuck. Oh, because you're trade, of course. Yeah, I know, I know. I know. Yeah, okay, brother. Okay, brother. This is some fucking stat template shit, bruv. What is this? Anyways, passives. I was actually wondering. He has 20 points into Lich. What the hell? Oh, fair enough. Yeah, yeah. Okay, let's try. Let's try a setup. Yo, what's up, Olsen? Last Epoch is very cool. Very, very, very cool. I like this game a lot. How are you, bro? Hello, traveler. Yeah, you, you definitely have to try out this game. This game is 100% worth. Like, there's a few things that still feel jank, but the game is giga worth. It's also true offline. I, 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 you can actually play online now, by the way. Like, if you want to. Online is actually not bad now. Like, yeah, okay, there's problems here and there. But I guess you've been trying to play online since you had login issues. Offline was cons yeah, it 100% is considerably smoother. Like, uh, you get, like, less input delay. I don't know what your internet's like, though. Maybe you live next to a server or some shit. Yeah. 
You ever played Black Desert? I'm not rich enough IRL for it. <laughs> nah, jokes aside, I, I have not. But it, it's it's definitely not my kind of game. I mean, it is because I love it most. But the um, like when when the most powerful piece of equipment in the game is your credit card, it's not a good game in my opinion. I don't care how like fun the game is to play; it doesn't matter, in my opinion. Can't skip the queue at all. Hmm. What the fuck? And the thing is, like, the game looks really good, though. Like, it, it really does look good, Black Desert. Same with... There's, like, so many games that I think are, like, amazing, but the pay to win just ruins them. Like, one of my favorite games ever. Maybe it's because I've been, like... Because I saw, like, my favorite games go to shit. Because of credit cards. Aka World of Warcraft, um, and um, Eve Online. He uh, shows shit Diablo Four skill system is. You know, I mean, you don't need Ellie to know how bad Diablo 4 skill system is. Like, it's, like, World of Warcraft has, like, ten times the amount of custom, like, build customization than Diablo 4, a game that's technically supposed to be about guild customization, build customization, right? And World of Warcraft is kind of shit, too, so. Yeah. Diablo 4. Yeah, Diablo 3 is actually really fun. That's the, that's the thing. Diablo 3 is actually fun. It's like the one thing that they about Diablo three that it's like it, the game is actually fun. Eve is fine. Eve is not fine, Stark. Eve is not fine. Shut up. If Eve is ruined, so is RuneScape. RuneScape is ruined. But luckily there's Iron Man mode. But that's because I play Iron Man. That's why I quit like ages ago, because it was just pointless. What's the point of playing when you can just buy everything? Why would you despect that? That seems like... That seems like a good note to have. My bro just doesn't give a fuck. I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna try setup before judging. Wait, Jesse, he doesn't take this? This is fucking sick, no? Why would he not take that? Is this bugged?
I mean, this is giga good. Like, it's it, this is like the prolif. He goes for this, yeah. Because, like, Catonic Fisher doesn't scale with cast speed. Cast speed is CDR? What the fuck do you need CDR for? Mm, quality of life or spirit plague spam. I'd rather have Dustbringer. Fuck that. Dustbringer is like the coolest thing about this class. Yeah, that, that's why we're removing it, yeah. The bows, yes, exactly. Yo, what's up, dude? What a jammer. <laughs> Um, okay, sorry, I'm like being really slow here. I'm actually interested in trying the Ghost Flame tech. Ghost Flame looks kind of fun. Yo, we gaming, bro. Eight one five six. Eight one five six. Remember that chat. You guys remember that? Nah, but he, he drops all the armor and shit. He's like, fuck it, bro. Mm, I'm gonna keep the armor instead of going for this. This is not multiplicative, right? I mean, vitality does give poison resistance, though. It's 1% poison resistance per, though. It's kind of shit. <laughs> TLDR, just type Ellie profile. There's, like, a lot of differences. But uh, the, the base is the Torment. So, like, if you start playing Torment for max roll, that's, like, a very good base. And then from there, you could just, like, start messing around with things. The click tick rate. Wait, what does that mean? You just spin your character super fast? Yeah. I mean, PoE is the same though, bro. 
I guess, like, the only game I play that doesn't do that is, like, League, no? Really? Hickin' jammer, bro. What does he differ here? He does take that, he does take this. What's the point of that one? Travel. Hmm. The fuck do I drop for that? It's kind of like to like move faster, I guess. But I guess that's like super annoying on bosses. But I, I can't spec that one because he has plus three to Catonic Fisher. Where's I don't. I, like this is like spirit spirit gale surely is better than stygian current like surely I don't know maybe it's like worse wrong rap is fucking cool isn't it I don't. I haven't found like a high LP wrong rap. Otherwise, I'd be testing it. Right now, I'm testing. I'm looking to see uh, the curse is set up. He doesn't take the secondary area. I get it, but it's it's cool because I don't know. Whatever, I'll trust it. I will trust it. I'm a, I'm kind of, kind of a big fan of transplant, but Let's see Ghost Flame. I think Transplant is like one of the coolest skills in the game. Oh, but it does it it gives you ignite stacks. That makes sense. Interesting. Let's give that a go. Fuck. 
fuck is wrong with the RuneScape, bro? I, I try to hop worlds and I just perma lag. This is gonna feel so janky for a bit. <laughs> what is that? I'm on a mana. <laughs> what the fuck is that? <laughs> Wait, that just rinses your mana though. What the fuck? How are you supposed to deal with mana on this shit? No, but like legit. Like, he doesn't even have, like, does he play the character? Or is he pretending? He doesn't even have any mana regen. Jesse, does he actually play it? <laughs> I feel like I just got fucking scammed. What is this? Is there like any form of Okay, I max out that. I should make it like bearable. Interesting. Oh yeah, now I don't have to execute. Sad. It's funny how like still I'm I'm dropping like all the uniques for like my other build, but none of them ever drop with LP. Like, hmm. I mean, to be fair, actually, like with the with the reduced mana cost nodes, it's actually like usable now.
more stash tabs, bro. We're at 230k stash tab cost now. Things are getting spicy. More legendaries? No. Two idols. There. Yeah, he's drifting, bro. That's <laughs> it's like so dumb. Is this even good? Like I swear it's it's worse than than transplant. Cause transplant gives me haste as well. And execute. It is it's dog shit. <laughs> it sucks, I don't like it bro. <laughs> Transplant is so much better. Am I clueless chat? And you guys playing with this fucking prof like flame shit? Yeah. Maybe maybe that's it. Maybe I have to get like the the Hmm. Yeah, but that sounds annoying as well, no? Cause what if I what if I wanna like shoot backwards? Uh, right now I'm just like testing a different setup, but I feel like I just made my build worse. I'm trying to just, like ghost flame shit, but it feels giga clunky. Use it more methodically. The problem with that is like... Imagine like you're running backwards and you want to like shoot some dude and then your shit teleports you backwards. I think... I just remove this shit, cause like... Like channeling this shit, you run as fast as like you would otherwise run if you had haste, right? So what's the point? How about I just have 100% uptime on haste? And I don't have to like fucking think of anything methodically, I just like click whenever I want to. Thoughts? <laughs> Thinking bad? That's it. Thinking bad. Yeah, but you get DR from Transplant too because you get a fuck ton of armor. Like a, an absolute fuck ton. But the the defense from that you get from transplant is also very good. Why are we overlooking that? The shit doubles your armor when you click it. Oh, 
Armor's good. <laughs> Armor's very good. Especially on low life builds. Did we go from like 1,209. Actually, I'm not fully spiked into it. It goes to like 1,200, like, like an extra 300 flat armor, bro. That's fucking sick. It was good. And you can teleport your whole screen, and then you have haste 100% uptime. Nah, like there's no way it's better not to use this. Like, maybe maybe it's because I'm an ultra widescreen monitor, Andy. But the fact that like you could travel like boom the whole screen, it's kind of fucking. You know what I mean? I'm very low on armor and it just gets to me to 70%. You're still using transplant. I think transplant is like the coolest movement ability in the game. It's fucking giga good. All the other changes I'm I'm all for though. All the other changes are good, I think. Please let this be a new fucking Acolyte Relic, please. We have two that we can fuck with. We have a damage over time one, which is actually not ideal. This is the one I want to- this is the one I want. I need to despair minion damage. I need to chaos health regen into something good. That's so much poison res that I have now. I I think it's like bricked already. Mm. Necrotic res. Unless I get like lucky. Nah, it's impossible. It's impossible, bro. Never fucking lucky, boys. Fuck. <laughs> no. Intelligence into Why, bro? Why, 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 why? Sag. A loot filter for this build that isn't so confusing. Wait, what do you mean? Armor, armor, holy. Where's the calling strike? Hello. Calling striker. Fuck is it? <laughs> oh, there it is. Fuck. Cool. We're Barack.
We are so Baraka. You know what we haven't listened to in a while? A static orb in it? It triggers so many spark. Yo. Big. I want to try that build at some point. What, what was it called? It was called a, a, a Party Boy 69. But it was like it was like a mix. Yeah, this one this is like the best ever. This is the best. Holy fuck. <laughs> I wish I was as cool as him. Damn. Like it's so much better with transplant, holy fuck. Just 1895 armor, bro. <laughs> Hello. It like, it like just actually straight up doubles your armor and has 15% calling strike. Afterlife? I, I think it's boring. Obviously just preference. I don't think the music is bad, I just think it's boring. Yeah, exactly. The calling strike is giga. The fuck bro is like hanging out in the corner. Okay, no more fucking about though. Now we just speed. Yo, enough of these dock emotes, bro. First it's forcing, now it's dock. When, when are we getting tuna jamming out? When is when is Zito learning to make gifts? Enough of this shit. It's actually a pretty good email though. <laughs> Do this IRL. <laughs> I jam out all the time, bro. Look at this. You can't tell me this is not OP, by the way. 15%. See ya. Bye. I can't jam out as well as the dog, dude. I'm jealous. I don't think you have to watch dog streams to like appreciate the, the emotes. I don't think I've ever watched the dog stream at all, to be honest with you. Maybe the last time I watched his stream was like uh, back in the PUBG era with like Lyric or whatever. When Ninja was not like a, like a big streamer yet or something. I remember like uh, Ninja was playing with like Summit 1G. He was different before the incident in Shanghai.
I mean, the incident is like none of our business, right? I don't know. I don't particularly feel like that incident is like that bad. Like being a cheater is fucking cringe, but it's, it's not like he did some like weirdo shit, like complete weirdo shit. You know what I mean? He made it our business? No. It's just his his wife told him he had to fucking say it. <laughs> Otherwise they'd probably like yeah. Something inside of him broke. I don't know. I think I think like still the fact that we don't know why he got banned from Twitch is is what probably broke him. Something probably happened there that we don't know. Honestly. Uh, yeah, no, Ward is not too powerful. It's the way, like, some classes generate Ward that's too powerful. But Ward itself is fine. It's okay. But, like, intelligence in this game is too strong, yeah. Compared to, like, other attributes, to be honest. Because being squishy in this game is dog shit. Like, something I've just realized is, yeah, you don't want to be squishy. If your build is squishy, it's like, it's just a bad build. Damage doesn't matter that much in Last Epoch. Yeah, intelligence is broken. You get micro- yeah, it's so fucking annoying, isn't it? The stuns. Honestly, like, I know people are, like, coping on, on, on like, uh, oh, no, Falcon is actually insane, you can make it tanky, but there's, like, there's a, there's a difference between, like, tanky and, and, like, rune master or, and warlock. Like, it's, it's, or like any cleaver solution type build. How do you, uh, get the HP bar above your guy? Yeah, it's some setting somewhere. I just set it up like four years ago, so I'm not really sure. We know there's uh, only one way to build Ballista. Mobs can't touch you, end of story. Mobs will still touch you. Like, you, you can't really... I, I feel like you, you can't really, like, prevent it. Like, you can pretend that you can prevent it, but it, I think, like, you'll always just get fucked eventually. Yeah, memory leak in this game is bad, yeah. Yeah, no, it's not just you, bro. <laughs> it's, it's everyone, trust. Happens quick, it does, yeah. You especially notice it when, um... You especially notice it when you pick up crafting materials. Ah, uh, it's nothing to do with your, uh, GPU. That looks cool, the way they breathe fire. There's a helmet there. Is, is it like possible? Like, the helmet shard, the curse damage doesn't exist, by the way. Like, what the fuck? It straight up does not exist. It is not real. While well, loot first, you can create with uh, the planner, so scuffed. Uh, because they don't, like, look at, like, specific. Uh, item slots and whatnot. 
They just kind of look at like what whatever affixes you have on your character and then go off of that. Yo, beekeeper's gloves, holy. Plus so three LP. Poison and Void Reds. Alright, but what about if you were to, you know, swap the Void Reds for Necrotic Reds? Necrotic Reds. Sad Egg. I think I have some, like, movement speed boots, which, like, Movement speed. That's more like T7 movement speeds. Wait, is oh my god. What the fuck? This would have been so good if I actually finished them. Maybe it's still better than what I have. I don't need the void res. If I were poison res, maybe. God, those boots are so good. No idea how I'm supposed to craft those. Those boots are fucking cool. Are these boots are kind of craftable. Cause you just despair dodge rating. Then you craft intelligence. Do I, do I craft CDR on my boots? What do you think chat? Like what else can you even craft, to be honest? Hmm... I guess, CDR.
Oh no. Why? Why does it fucking do that? Oh, that's so sad. <laughs> Fuck. That's so fucking annoying. I had like 30 potential and it fucking gone in two hits, bro. <laughs> Sag. Okay, another attempt. These are pretty good. Despair this. Don't fuck the potential. Okay, it's good. Intelligence. Movement speed. Okay, don't fuck me. Cooldown. Good. Okay, we're good. Two hits, we're good. Two hits, we're good. Critical hit. Please. Alright, we can even divine it, bro. We can even divine it. They're good, they're good, they're good. We can even divine... Maybe, you know what? Maybe... Do I... Do I... Do I mirror it? No. I think I divine it. For 8 int. 8, 18, 54, 19. That's very good. And I still have potential. Very nice. Okay, th those they're they're good good boots. Very good boots. T7 in armor, body armor. It's kind of, it's kind of hot. But void rare suffix, actually, void rare suffix is good, to be honest. Despair this. It's like thirty potential is so bad. I hate potential. It's so annoying. Oh, minus 10, bro. Oh, no. How sad is that? It's really sad, no? <laughs> T7 in body armor. Two clicks, poof. Uh, I have this, T7 as well. I'm not gonna lie, I, I think it's doomed. Fuck. Oh no. I needed to hit a good suffix. <laughs> yeah, you can swap builds, bro. You don't have to wait till level 70. I mean, honestly, armor is not bad. It is not damage, though. It 
it's bricked anyways, so it doesn't matter, does it? I keep getting sidetracked by crafting. This has to stop. Uh. The thing is, I could like so easily improve my build a lot if I just like. But it, I, I don't really need to at the moment. That's the that's the whole dilemma. Well, it's a banger. Yo, what's up, Links? We got new boots, though. They're, like, really good, too. So, I'm happy. You can like level with um, with this build pretty much. Like that's the cool thing about this build, it doesn't really require any crazy items. It's basically just like broken. <laughs> it's just like yeah. It's just too it's just too strong. It has like free scaling from the like the defenses free scaling basically from uh, all the war that you get. I I found like a really good helmet, but um I don't really do I want to slam this onto it onto my bone clamor chat and just say fuck it. What if I get like the T4 suffixes instead? It's 2 LP. I got a 2 LP bone clamor. But I don't have another helm. I don't have a second helmet. Yeah, right? It's like a bit risky, isn't it? I feel like you will get at least one suffix. Yeah. I think so too. Imagine if I didn't though. Imagine if I just got two fucking prefixes, bro. Sheesh. That would be fucking crazy. That's my weapon. My weapon's actually really good. It's insane. I got T7 pen with T1 multi. Or not T1, but T5. I got my weapon's insane. Mm. Bro, you, can't, you cannot tell me that fucking flame rush variant is faster than this. Like, this is actually fast. It's just because of, like, frenzy and haste. Frenzy and haste is good. You get, like, 100 movement speed. Obviously, more than 100 would be nice, but yeah. Storm hide paws. Any furries? Yo, very nice. I'm gonna literally dodge the unique shield thing. <laughs> unique shields is like so bad since the Bastion nerf. I feel like with like cleaver solutions though, Bastion should be still really strong. Bro, yeah, I got the two LP spoon with like the two best modifiers that I can get on it. I'm pretty sure like T7 crit would be better than T7 pen, but. I'm not sure about that. Oh, you just got yours. Yo, grats, bro. Let's go. That's huge.
You got 3 1 LP? Damn, 3 in 1 day. That's crazy. That's a lot of spoons. I'm Circle of Fortune, bro. Yeah. Self found, baby. Hello. Walking into your wallet is actually disparage. No, no, no. War degen is not damage over time. My my amulet is like, unfortunately, if it was a bone base, it would be like insane. But it's since it's not a bone base, it kind of sucks. To be honest, but I, I don't have anything better, unfortunately. Yeah, level eighty is good for empowered models, bro. Yeah, yeah. Since you pay online, I get double the shrine in XL, it feels like. Uh, nah, I mean like it's the same. I don't I don't think you get like more shrines or exiles. Oh shit. Give me that. I need to fracture it. Really? <laughs> okay, at least it took three shards. Power down log, let's go. Time to farm all your blessings. Disperg. Some necrotic damage, not bad. What the fuck is that? I've never seen that. Is that new? Another. F Why is everything in this game furry? Bro, I swear, everything in this game is furry. You got like the squirrel, you got the fucking. the wolf, you got the paws. Like, hello? <laughs> what the fuck? Furry devs. This <laughs> is. Enhancement Shaman? Enhancement was so much fun in Legion, holy fuck. I played in Ha. And, and Taurus. And Taurus, the Burning Throne. That was the expansion from World of Warcraft. Wow, the massively multiplayer online 
RPG developed and published by Blizzard Entertainment, released in 2004, set in the world of Azeroth as the continuation to Warcraft 3 The Frozen Throne. Yeah, I played, um... Enhancement Shaman. It was fun. Yo, int. Pagman. Legion is what got you to PoE? You didn't like Legion? Legion was the best expansion ever. Battle for Azeroth is what got me to PoE. Blessing in disguise, bro. If it, if it wasn't for how dog shit Battle for Azeroth was, I probably would have never streamed. Why create multi for dot? Um, because your damage is basically coming from Catonic Fissure stuff, right? And Catonic Fissure and Ailment, it inflicts deal more necrotic damage, multiplicative with other modifiers, per 1% added critical strike multiplier. So that's, we stack necrotic res because of this, and we stack multi because of that. So it's basically just like 1% more damage per 1% multi. After Legion was done, that mods went back to PoE. Fair enough. Legion was so good. Battle for Azeroth was the best in plus era. No, Legion was. Maybe I'm biased, but I think Legion was way, 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 way more fun. Nighthold was amazing, actually. Monk. Gul'dan was garbage. That was kind of fun. It was hard, but it was kind of fun. If we want to talk about garbage, I reckon, um... Kill Jaden was the most garbage fight, or... Avatar, actually, maybe. Was it Avatar? It was Avatar of Sargeras, right? The one before Kill Jaden? Like the fucking beam soaking shit? My god. And the fucking swirlies, bro. And somebody would like block your path with their swirlies. And you would look like shit. Because you died and dropped the beam. And because you dropped the beam, the soak rotation is fucked. And because the soak rotation is fucked, the whole raid is fucked. And you have to wipe, bro. And if that happens to like anybody in the rotation, it's like... Oh, yo, 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 yo. I was raid leading that fucking boss. <laughs> I was playing Discipline, most of Legion, but that boss I had to go holy. I had to go holy priest, because of the, the set was broken, first of all, and secondly, it would like, it would allow me to actually like, see around the arena, because holy was easy as fuck. But it, it, it's, it also ruined my enjoyment of the game, because it was so fucking boring. Holy Priest is disgusting. But there was like this... I think it was a four set that made like... You would do Prayer of Healing, Binding Heal, Prayer of Healing, Binding Heal, and your Binding Heal would heal like... 
fucking more than everything else. Like, it was like a- it was just better than like every other healer in the game. Like, Discipline was amazing at the- at that fight too, but Discipline was too- too much brain power to raid lead with. You killed your guild on that raid? Yeah, actually my guild broke up on kill Jaden. <laughs> I actually had to- I like, yeah, our, our guild legit died on KJ. We didn't finish the fight. Can you use exalted rogue items like uh, for LP? I believe so. Yeah. Legendaries was the worst mechanic ever. For me, it was like the most fun thing about Legion. Like getting them was ass, but using them was amazing. Like at the start of the expansion, they were bad, but like later on, they were fine, and they ended up being the funnest thing about World of Warcraft, in my opinion. You probably have PTSD because you're like, you know, you you were doing like high end rating. So the start of the expansion was like really bad, but it ended up being pretty fine later on. Like one week, you probably have like most legendaries you need. Frost Mage. You would never see Frost Mages in Mythic Plus. I think people played like, yeah, mostly Fire. Was it Fire? I don't remember. I hate Fire Mages. I hate Mages in general, actually. Fuck you. <laughs> fire early and come. Usually play Warlock? Yeah, Warlock is fine. I love Warlocks. But Mages? Fuck them. Hater? I mean, I just hate like Fire Mage. Like, how like for two expansions or three expansions in a row, the game, the meta ended up being just like, play around your Fire Mage. It was so boring. And you had like the most fucking, like, uh, Rio inflated fucking dickheads that are just like play around my combustion and they're just like jerking off in the corner doing nothing the whole fucking mythic plus just pressing combust I hate you <laughs> I fucking grr Meanwhile, uh, I was playing fucking Rogue, bro. Jesus. I felt like I was just a babysitter the whole time, bro. It's like, kidney, kick, gouge, kick, kidney, kick, gouge, kick. Meanwhile, the fucking uh, fire mage just... You know, just like fucking clicking fireball. Assassination Rogue is pretty pretty fun. Subtlety in Legion was the most fun class in the game. Uh, Outlaw though, in my opinion, is like... Outlaw is like... The most fun... Maybe it's because it's like an ADHD class, but... Outlaw is the most fun class in the game. Ever since they reworked it. In Legion it was really bad, but... Post-Legion it's like fucking amazing. Outlaw is so much fun. It's like the most high APM... Uh, class in the game. Very interesting. Yeah, you mean death from above, yeah. Log into Kata? No. Oh, we were still best to bring because of CC, yeah. All of BFA, I felt like I was just a babysitter as well. It's just like uh, th that's the thing. Like I, I really like about Rogue, but at the same time, it's very, it's very, very stressful. 
because you just bring so much utility that like you're just like literally a utility bot. It was it was very stressful. But still fun. It's the reason why I think it was fun. Twelve. Okay, we got some corruption here. Seven K is good, bro. Seven K is good. Don't look at my ward. This this is just like bugging. I got another gaze of Ouroboros. That's fucking crazy, bro. Once you get to like higher corruption, you get so much gaze. You just like spam gaze. Look at that damage. Holy fuck. It doesn't like look insane, but for, for, for like my tankiness, it's completely insane. Nah! Oh my god, I didn't call him. What the f- do you guys- what the fuck is possess? It doesn't tell you. Do you guys know what possess is? I couldn't figure that shit out. It's like some mechanic I just have no idea about. As this way for higher corruption, uh, you just keep like spamming uh, the Mr. Orbus here. Can I ask why you still have skill points in Ghost Flame while you use Transplant? Uh, I don't. It's probably bugging. It may maybe it's not like fully synced. I, I just tried Ghost Flame, but it I hate it. It sucks. I think it's terrible. Yeah, it might take like a while to like fully sync. Like I run faster than Ghost Flame travels, so I, I don't I don't really get the point. Because you get like haste, right? From from transplant, and you get like double armor. Basically, it's really nice. This is uh, from Acolyte Skill, a hungering soul, a unique ailment. Oh shit.
You only get it from Hungry Souls? Hmm. Bone amulets are so rare. It's so rare to get like a good bone amulet. It's actually so fucking rare. Oh my god. I have 66,000 to use. If this gets bug fixed, it doesn't matter. You'll still be broken. It's just right now you're like unethical. And there's nothing bugged about Rune Master. Or I mean, there's probably a bunch of bug shit to be honest. But nothing really like too insane, no? Exactly, like if this gets bug fixed, you'll probably have like, yeah, like 30k ward. Rune Master and Falconer have infinite damage bugs. <laughs> really? What's the infinite damage bug on Rune Master? It only drops from this, what I'm doing right now. Um, I don't really know what to hunt for next, to be honest. I, I reckon like exalted amulets. Exalted amulets and helmets. Probably. The new app. When did the new app come out? The best weapon base for this class? Uh, there's a few. But ideally it's the one with the... I think it rolls up to 60 and curse damage. My only DM is from Pussy in Bio. Oh, that's me, sorry. On my alt account. I have to go cook some prophecies.
I think there might be a way to like block DMs, by the way, maybe that's what's happening. But what if, imagine, just imagine it. Are you imagining? I'm imagining it. What if I chaos this into something giga good? Boom, poison resistance. It's actually, I think, probably still better than mine, by the way. Multi. Great multi. <laughs> I can just never, like, uh, I... I suck. I think I'm, I'm garbage. I've bricked, like, all my items today. Does any res? Yeah, you want to cap your res. I knew you had something to ask. It would be my pleasure to satisfy. This lens, by the way, you need it. It's broken. You need that lens. A lens is like very important if you want to do prophecies ever. The double reward one, 90% chance, 90% uh, more cost, but double reward. It's like, it's like a mandatory IMO. 4 helmets, 5 helmets, 2 times prophecy fulfilled, 5,000. I'll do it, yeah, that's fine. Unique helmet times 4, death of boss, yes. Oh, look at that. Unique helmet 10. Holy fuck. That's insane, actually. Boom. That's 20 helmets I'm going to get from one mob. Exalted belts. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'll take it. Mm hmm, mm hmm, mm hmm. Don't need any of this. Age of Winter. I never want to go there ever again. Ban! Stop with the Age of Winter, bruv. Uh, it's 10 helmets though. Am I really gonna pass that up? I'll just take unique body armors instead. Fuck you. I don't want the helmets. Like, rerolling is relatively cheap once you... Because, like, technically, like, if you have, like, the double compass... You're getting double value from your rerolls, right? Which is, yeah. You need body armor times 8. You need gloves times 12. Isn't that 24 gloves? Wait, isn't that 48 gloves? Holy fuck, 88 gloves from one mob, that's insane. Let's get some amulets, actually. But you know you could just type in the chat, yeah? Oh, <laughs> you're like, you want to DM people. Bro is people shy.
Yo, 28 amulets from the Shade of Orbis. Mine got... Fall of the Outcast, 18 rings. Huh? I don't want to do Fall of the Outcast, though. Fifty-six amulets. <laughs> Sheesh. But like, hello, I got the amulet thing in, bro. Where is it? Six uniques. The unique amulets I don't even care about. Unless I get a four LP Orion's Eye. Thoughts? Six LP Orion's Eye? It's gonna happen. Okay, yeah, whatever. I'm happy with this. I was really hoping that I could like slam one more, but yeah, this reputation, by the way, it's like super fast. Like if when you actually stop rerolling, your reputation goes like incredibly fast. Exiled mage, holy fuck! All right, this is gonna be fun. <laughs> Rune Master is pretty good. What Rune Master build are you playing, bro? Nice. You put on zero LP on stable core. On stable core is what's on stable core? The chest. You regret going merchant? Why? Because like all your it you can get like all your items very easily, no? Yeah, the chest, yeah, yeah, yeah. Chest is very strong. Okay, okay. Uh, honestly nothing. I mean, there's there's like a dungeon where you can gamble your money away, but there's like zero point in doing that. Because the rewards are just kind of shit, comparative to like the rest of the game. Yo, gloves! Help! 
We're still dropping. Sixteen Weaver will we take those? Three LP on those. Not bad for um, leveling, I suppose. Oh, very nice. You satisfy like the attribute requirements of it yet? No, yeah, but pretty close. Nice. Until then, it's like resistance and attributes are good. Yo, exalted rings too. Nice. Man, the echoes are so fucking fast on this build. I'm almost tempted not to open that chest because it takes so long. <laughs> Instead, like crazy. Lip of the despair. Oh yeah, this guy's gonna give me loot. Hang on. Here we go. Boom. Prophecy? Ah. Where's the prophecy? Hello. Where's my prophecy not proc? Boots. But anything good? Yo, 2LP Telfoon. That's good. Telfoon 2LP is good. That's like this for uh, a wound master. Uh, honestly, like, I would love to be able to use Telfoons. Oh, 
I was to slam my boots and you get like necrotic res int on them. Holy fuck, that would be sick. Do I try to do that? Cause aren't they, like aren't these just fucking insane? I guess like the base on on these are crazy. Forty one percent reduced damage taken from crits. One day I'll get a good bone amulet. One day. I feel like I'm, I'm never gonna get a good bone amulet, I'm not gonna lie. I should pick up plus three spirit plague. What am I doing? You never know. I'm not picking that shit up though. No, I haven't watched Eurovision in like ever since I was like fucking ten years old. Plus three bone curse. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> uh, like your vision is always garbage, no? I'm like even scared googling it. I feel like I might break my algorithm. It's just Jover if you do that. Try it. Let's do an in incognito. Is there incognito in like Edge? Microsoft Edge? What is it called? Hello? In private. Oh, of course. What is it, what is it called? Uh, Croatia uh, Eurovision 2024. Why am I using Edge? I use Edge because... Uh, Chrome audio goes to the VOD, whereas Edge audio doesn't go to the VOD. So when I play music, I play it on Edge. When I watch videos for entertainment, I watch it on Chrome. Is this it? Rim Tiggy Tiggy Dim. Is that it, bro? <laughs> Ad? What the f- Ads? I have YouTube Premium, but I'm not logged in in incognito. Yeah, the guy looks fucking... <laughs> Is this... <laughs> Ew. This is garbage. <laughs> this is I'm still uh, um. 
It's so weird. I appreciate the performance, though. There's like some folk dancing, no? Like tap dancing. I like the sleeves. Better than Italy? I mean, they're all fucking trash. I don't care about the, what it's, if it's better than Italy. Yo, budget slipknot. <laughs> Holy shit. Wait, she's dead. My god. How is the whole key off uh, the whole song off key? I mean, live performances, they always sound like shit, I'm gonna be honest. I like the drummer. Kinda good, you like it? I don't like it. <laughs> what the fuck? What are those? What are the cats in the back, bro? <laughs> What's so random? What the fuck is that? They're like doing the Fortnite dance, bro. <laughs> ah, back, back to it. Like to some real music, bro. Thoughts? <laughs> Where's Chris Stussy? Oh, it's six nine. Uh, this this is six nine. Mr. Party Boy. I wish, I wish I was like 10% as cool as like any of these guys. <laughs> Hell yeah. I wish I was him like in the middle. Finland entry? I'm not about to fucking listen to Eurovision all day now, bro. Fuck off. Just look at it. Holy fuck. Alright, I'm done. No more Eurovision. That was an egg. That was an egg. <laughs> was Windows 95? What do you mean? Yeah, when I made the build, I didn't know it was a bug. In hindsight... Uh, I mean, in hindsight... Should've seen it. Two LP. Oh, come on. Okay. Okay, 13 int. Very nice. Infinite Ward? Yeah. Yo, Alan. Thank you for the <laughs> thank you for the prime, bro. I appreciate you, dude. Thank you very much, sir. 
I'm not offline, bro. I'm online. Yo, look at that timing. My star died at the same time as, uh... As, um... My birdhouses are ready. Let's go do some birdhouses. I have to drop some sapphires. It's a sad day. In scales better? Yeah. Oh uh, well, the thing about in is like it, it's what let you it lets you retain your uh, your ward, right? Necrotic damage is basically like your your hardest scaler, but since like since you have prefixes and suffixes, you can have both int and necrotic resistance. But that's your main priority is getting as much int and as much necrotic resistance as possible. But yeah, like you need to have a, a lot of int because otherwise you don't retain your ward. So you have to like spam cast your fucking your bone curse stuff. Like int is super important to make the setup good. Mobs and echoes don't die, they have zero HP. What the fuck? I have 125 int at the moment. Could have more. Oh, what the fuck? That's so weird, Jesse. I feel like you always find ways to break the game, bro. Yo, north of Alcarid PP. Very nice. Interesting build using Soul Basher and Spirit Plague? Yo, very nice. This is a banger too, to be honest. <laughs> Double drop. Let that booty pop. <laughs> it's so good. <laughs> Is there is there a six is there a six nine? Wait, I went too far. Is there emotes of this guy? You had five hundred of <laughs> more. What was your lag like? Wait, what the fuck? What world is this? Wait, there's a star there, but we can't mine it. What the fuck? I have zero run energy, it's Jover. What a fucking banger though. Sixteen weavers well, one LP, one, two LP, yo, another bone clamor with two LP, let's go. Is he saying Donald Trump? Hell yeah, brother. That's my jam.
Is the thing not updated, the uh, Ellie profile? Let me let me show it real quick. Did you did you also try the ghost flame garbage? It's it's trash, right? It's just uh, it just big suck. Yo, <laughs> three OP on that. Does anybody have a build for this shit, dude? Shield throw. This is my transplant. Yeah, yeah. You just want like calling strike. Three points into this for the haste, and then armor. You're welcome, boo boo. So I actually have some shit to cook. I have the Telfus. 2LP, I have Bone Clamor, 2LP. I got a cook. Are, are you guys playing this build? Are you enjoying it? How broken is this shit? Like even outside of the Infinite Ward, it's like so fun and broken. Like what is this? That's so weird. I mean, this game this game is like perfect, bro. It has zero bugs. I don't know what you're talking about. Without ward? Wait, what do you mean? Without ward? Like, even without ward, you mean, or? You're like, you're not abusing bugs? Yeah, even without the bug abusing, exactly. Even without the bug abusing, it's like, still insane. The only, the only, the so like, <laughs> I don't really have to do anything to make this like non-bug abusing variant, to be honest. It's like super easy. Void damage, man. Imagine that was like damage over time or necrotic damage or just like literally anything. Mana regen. I'd be okay with like having mana regen on my amulet to be honest. But the problem is like you can actually get multi on your amulet, can't you? So it's like omega wasteful. Can I despair this? Cold res despair? I can despair it. But I have to chaos this now. Yeah, multi is by far the best, yeah. Oh, oh! Meant to annul it. It, it was bricked then, like, potential, the potential was, like, bricked. Doesn't matter. <laughs> I meant to annul it, no, I send it, fuck. But like, multi and necrotic res are pretty much equal to each other, don't know. Because they, they, all they do is they give like... Damage multiplicative, right? It's just you, you incur diminishing returns... On your necrotic res. Mm. 
Am I, I mean, am I missing something? Because... It's just necrotic damage, 1% per crit multi, multiplicative. And then you have... Damage per 2% necrotic res, 3%. Multiplicative. Or is it is there like some scalar or something that I'm missing? That was a good set. Uh, I don't know, I haven't tried the bleed variant to be honest. But you can't really play the bleed variant with this current setup that I'm running. Honestly, this setup is just kind of broken. One LP. You don't want to spend your days regrinding blessings? On the upside, bro, like, this build is probably, like, more broken than any other build you've ever played, even without blessings. <laughs> so, just do it, bro, just do it. Go. I, I know what you mean, though. Yeah, 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 yeah. One day I'm gonna get a good amulet. One day, boys, one day. But not today. Five hundred forty-nine waves in arena. Arena is like yuck. I'm pretty sure this build could easily get like 1,000 now. It's just a matter of like not crashing. I wish Arena was better, but like Arena's so fucking boring. The reason why people are like rank one is not because of anything aside for the fact that like nobody wants to run Arena. <laughs> like, <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, bro. <laughs> it's just about like actually doing it. Yeah, I think one, like, easy 1,000, honestly. The only thing that's stopping you from getting 1k is, uh, staying awake. It's like five, exactly, it's like five hours and hours and hours. Also, many people that I know that used to push arena, stop pushing arena because they would just crash at, like, 900 because the game doesn't create a new instance or some shit. So it just, like, it's, like, bricked. You start to get into like giga memory leak territory and then the game just crashes. They hit for like 50, 40k at 500. Well, good thing we got like 120,000 more on this build. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. But yeah, I mean, honestly, bro, like, if Arena was better, I would push it, because I like ladders. Ladders are fun. Yeah, like, look, this is not normal, right? Like, it goes down, and then guess what? After that, it starts again. <laughs> yeah. Welcome to the build, bro. Yo! A bone amulet with dog shit everything. 
and it's bricked because yeah, it's because because it's bricked. That's why. Fuck. I'm so sad. Oh my god, man. <laughs> Never a good amulet. I wish there was a ladder for corruption pushing. Yeah, that would be cool. Corruption pushing ladder would be very cool. But even corruption pushing is like a bit resident sleeper after a while. I mean, honestly, bro, like, same. I like the amount of items I, I, I set up. I craft, like, I get, like, 10 bases ready anytime I want to try to get some LP on an item, basically. Yeah. Isn't, like, Falconer also bugged? They have, like, infinite damage bugs. I mean, honestly, like... This game is, like, very buggy, but it's fun because of that, no? It's, like, flavor of the month. UPV season is end of March, bro. But the the smoke bomb thing is kind of a single target only thing. Like it doesn't really help you with echoes. Not that you need it, but I think I think Falconer is like squishy as fuck. That's the only thing about it. It's really strong. Don't get me wrong, but it's squishy as fuck. It's not really like yeah, you can make it tanky, but it's it's not tanky compared to. Uh, what you can make on like a uh, wound master and and warlock. Another makes divine bomb not register. This might kill Manked when it registers. When it registers, man. Dragon dogma. Dogma what? Yeah, it has been called, it's really strong. Dogma balls? Oh, shit, he got me. Insulation? Yeah, yeah. Plus four to summon wave. T7 summon wave. Maybe I do gotta, I gotta try the the rice QT build at some point. Is that summon wraith build like as good as people said it was? Or was that bait? You didn't think it looked good, but you're playing explosive ballista, yeah, fair. One thing that's like insane about this build is your clear is just fucking broken too. Like your clear, your clear is so fucking good. Catonic Fisher's just hard carries, man. Like the auto aim proliferation shit is so stupid. Uh, twelve corruption on that one. Hmm. It looks faster than you expected. Well, that's because I got like 
Like, my movement speed is not that good, but I'm getting, like, haste and frenzy anytime I... Anytime I, um... You know, use my sh uh, my fucking... What is it called? Transplant. And then clear-wise, it's, it's really good because... Yeah, it's just, like, clearing everything around you. Yo. If I had these... Mm, no. I think Telfu is better. Uh, for weapon, critical strike multiplier. No, no, no. Crit multi, penetration. Always. Crit multi, pen are like your number one thing on weapon always. And then on the rest of your gear, you just want necrotic resistance, intelligence. But yeah, crit multi, penetration. And then you have... The only other prefix you can get is like... Uh, honestly, like, yeah. Necrotic damage, damage over time, or mana, mana region. Crit multi, yeah, crit multi is like uh, very, very broken for this build. I'm playing my, I'm playing my character wrong. Yo, it's a couple amulets. Man, my bow and amulets are always fucking. Uh, they're always bad. Yo, ominous, but it's fucking. <laughs> what is that? Then I already have this furry helmet. If you get on this with like one LP, you definitely gotta use it, right? One thousand six hundred. I gotta run the boss twice. You need crit multi to hit the one. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. Now when you swap to pure traps, you drop items for the blast rain like insane.
in the merchant guild are they uh, are there any like multiple lp on this do they exist imagine like a three lp ominous jesus what is this squid guy I love how much stability you get, honestly, like, I can't wait to get to, like, 1.5k fucking corruption. I seriously wish corruption was more, like, uh, shared or something across your characters, though. Rerolling in this game sucks. You get, like, so omega punished for rerolling. I wonder if there's a universe where you can play this build but crit based. So you get like, you double dip on your scalers. Cause like, you seen, are you seeing those numbers with this, with the shrine? <laughs> the shrine's crazy. It's like that one for example, there's some numbers that are like fucking bomba. Oh, we're getting RS only streams? No, unfortunately not. Bro, it's almost PoE league time again. Plus nine spine. The spine of Malatros kind of ruins the build though, because you lose like the prolif. The prolif is like the most fun thing about this build. Got another month. Yeah, but month goes fast when you need to test for builds and whatnot, right? Like Somebody's gonna make these starters. If they bring big if they bring back Toda, I jump out the window. In game. I think the last thing PoE needs is like more mechanics, which are just like zero investment or like eyes or hands required and give you money for free. Inflation is already like bad enough as it is, but like if you then make mechanics that like literally don't require you to have like, I don't know. You just fucking collect a bunch of garbage you need, go there at like level 70, don't complete the, I don't know. I don't think that's okay. Like, it's literally just like handouts.
I mean, boring is subjective, but I think the rewards are just... I don't know. I really hope they don't bring back Toto. Like, I can really, like, hardly tolerate Sanctum, because I feel like Sanctum is just too cheesable and too easy. And it gives too much currency for, for, for how easy it is. But Toda is like a whole new level of just like shitting currency for literally zero effort. I don't think that's good for PoE. I, uh, I think PoE needs like challenging mechanics that reward you for engaging into in the challenge rather than, you know, the other way around. Mm, yeah, Sentinel Recoms were okay, but Sentinel Mechanic itself was really boring. Not what well boring, like the mechanic was good, what was boring was the Sentinels. Mostly just like the breeding side of things, that, that was like really annoying. Pathfinder, Caustic, Arbalista, good for Sanctum? No. Like Sanctum, you don't need to have defenses or anything, so you just want to play a character that doesn't have defense, basically, and just one-shots. You want to, like, one-shot in Sanctum. So just play, like, Inquisitor, insert skill. I mean, Penis Pratt will still probably be good. One LP emulator, max rolled. Holy. Time to cook. Yeah, you just want like instant damage and cold damage usually. I forgot to uh, re re top up my ward. Sometimes that happens, you get like complacent, bro. Yo, 3 LP, that's huge. That is massive for your uh, ultimate Iron Man locked to Priftonus, bro. It's huge for the account. This changes everything. But real talk, that 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 quiver is fucking massive. Hello. Beautiful, small, Eterran Idol. Hmm, that's beautiful. You can TP between towns, and each vendor will have new items every TP. Oh shit. Cool. Also, you can right click on echoes and TPs and whatnot, and that'll instantly TP you instead of having to click enter. There you go, that, that's another tip. 
Today we're an educational stream, bro. You didn't know the right click? There you go, bro. It's OP. Yo. Plus seven bone curse damage. Oh wait, hang on. Did I read that wrong? Yeah, I did. Plus seven damage for curses. Yes, that's what I meant to say. I wonder if that's better than these. Is that better than 16 Necrotic Res into Vitality? Probably. Like, tooltip wise, it's like insane. And I have enough poison? Yeah, my poison res. Struggling. God, I wish this game had affinities, bro. What I would do for affinities right now, holy fuck. Affinity. Yes, I want to finish these nuts in my mouth. That's exactly what I want to do. Mm-hmm. How would it feel like if Ellie's mirrors can only mirror once? Wasn't PoE? That'd be bad. Very bad. That's defeats the whole point of mirrors. Yo, Milky! <laughs> Milky BK. Thank you for the fucking raid, bro. I appreciate it. 07, chat. 07. Salute. What up, boys? Yeah, to follow up on that, bro, like, the whole reason why cool items are made is for people to mirror them, right? So if you can only mirror them once, nobody would make cool items. So yeah, that would be bad. That would be very bad. Yo! Fee? 15 mirrors? That would hardly even pay back for the, um, the craft cost. I don't know, like, the only people that would craft would 
probably be just like for fun gamers, I guess. If Captain Giga Adams is more acceptable to the average Woody Joe, they delete a mirror, I think 99% of people would have a better experience. Crafting is accessible. Just mirror tier items aren't. I disagree with your take. The only thing that's not accessible is crafting weapons. But yeah, I mean, crafting is giga easy in PoE now. Buy Fractured Base, spam 200 Essences, Eldritch Chaos Orb, craft something. GG. And you can have like basically like absolutely broken insane gear by doing that. It's not as sexual as anything that can't be Eldritched. Yeah, pretty much. But all of that stuff is out of the meta anyways and worse than Eldritch gear. Aside for weapons. Like Eldritch Eldritch implicits are in most cases more powerful than like old influences. Yeah, but those those items sh sh they, they they should be gated behind money. Otherwise, you would beat the game too fast, no? And jewelry? Mm, to be fair, best amulet in the game is simplex. And that's like super easy to craft. Oh, I just feel like they need to implement Eldritch Implicits to... Or Eldritch... Uh, type crafting to weapons and stuff, that's it. Yeah, what are you playing, Milky? Sorry, I'm getting sidetracked. It's some fucking nerd talk. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I personally just think that Synthesis Implicit should fucking fuck off, you know? Because, like, that, that cr type of crafting is degenerate and nobody likes it. Do you know what I mean? Right. That shit's- that, it's just ass, bro. Vivid Vulture spamming is so ass. <laughs> it's so unfun. You buy entire weapons on their synth implicits, yeah, pretty much. Like, it's absolutely not necessary. I think, like, expecting for everybody to be able to achieve, like, it's like, oh, everybody should have that stuff. I don't, I absolutely fucking disagree. I think PoE has found, like, a perfect balance between being gifty enough, but also allowing for, like, uh, min-max at the same time. But there are certain things that fucking suck ass. Still, don't get me wrong. But I, the last thing I want for PoE is for the game to be easier. And I think, I think PoE is like generally fair even to to casuals. It's not fair to new players, but it's fairly fair to casuals these days. Just because of like, like I mean, trickle down really is a thing in PoE. Like it really is a thing. Like, the fact that you can get, like, a 1.1k EDPS bow for, like, almost nothing. Mm, I, I do think PoE is annoying when you start. Like, it's, it's, it's kind of just annoying at the beginning. But it's, like, a, it's like a weird kind of annoying. It's, like, an annoying where, like... Yeah, you're just like running uphill type of annoying. Uh, 
How do PoE profiles updates? They should just be instant. Here we two nine button builds. Mm, I mean, they already talked about that in the interviews. Like you are incentivized to push multiple buttons, but they said that ultimately builds will just end up being one button again, if people want them to be. But they're looking to create incentives to for them not to be. Like, are, are you playing Last Epoch? Do you guys like feel bad when you play your character that has like interesting buttons that do certain things? Like I don't feel bad when I'm pressing multiple buttons in this build. It feels really good because I get rewarded for it. Like you just have to look at PoE two like like a different thing. I think PoE one is like a different thing to PoE two, and that's perfectly fine. So, yeah, it's cool when it feels good. Exactly. But I think people are like very like like closed into their like. No, it must be like PoE one. Don't change anything. I don't know. Like let them, bro. Let them cook. It's GGG, bro. They, they they don't fuck up. They don't fail. Like, they're just insane. Imagine getting this with 4 LP. Holy. Movement speed. Yeah, but... You know what? They're adding more automatic stuff in PoE 2. Did you see how much automatic stuff they're adding? Like, the new skill gem system in PoE 2 is basically, like, allows for 10 times more creativity and freedom. Because you're not always fucking, like, the, the answer is not always pick the highest more multiplier anymore. And also the meta gems and the um, the new like reservation mechanic is fucking crazy too. Not even weapon swap, bro. Like they have like cast when shock, cast when crit, and then cast when shock can proc off of cast when crit, and cast when crit can proc off when like you know. It's basically like you can create like fucking proc loops and shit with these like fucking weird meta gems. It's like giga cool. I feel like you guys, you guys need to watch like the PoE2 stuff again from ExileCon because the, the gem system is like going to be the biggest change and the most important change of PoE2 and it looks, looks fucking insane. Like don't look at the gameplay. Fuck the gameplay. Like the gameplay is just some boomer shit developer trash fucking template build that nobody cares about, right? Like... Look at the PoE 1 showcases when they show like an MTX or like a mechanic. It looks even fucking worse than the PoE 2 gameplay. Like that's that they've never been able to like actually show off their game properly. Like they just never have. Because it's just like they want to show the game off to people who are looking from the outside point of view, right? Like if 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 you're like a normie or some shit and then and then you see like you fucking TS warp is like the showcase of a new PoE mechanic. You're like, what the fuck is this? <laughs> like, what am I watching? Like, like, what is this garbage? Like, you can argue like, yeah, for you it looks cool, but yeah, I don't know. That's the thing, it's like, the showcases and all that stuff were never actually advertised, like, they, they never made them, so, like, it looked cool to people who are actually, like, players of the game. I think the marketing is, like, specifically made to bring new people in. Because they know that, like, once you've, once you've taken a hit, bro, of PoE, there's no going back, right? Like, they know that. So they're not trying to keep you, bro, they're trying to get new ones. That's exactly how WoW died. Okay, WoW, first of all, is not dead. Secondly, how? <laughs> like, what? WoW is like one of the most successful Blizzard games. 
something still. Like this expansion is probably one of the best ones they've done too. No need to keep people when they want to stay. Exactly. I agree. One of the most successful. I think it made more money than all of the other games combined. World of Warcraft? Really? I don't think so. Diablo made a lot of money. I mean, I'm not sure. I don't look at their fucking in revenues or anything. I'm clueless in that regard. Yeah, but they're not actually trying to make PoE more generic or accessible. Right? Uh, wh like, from where did you get more generic and accessible from the PoE 2 showcase? If anything, the game is getting more complex. Like, what is you talking about? They just make it look uh, like it's simple. Like, so just some dude with an axe hitting some mobs. It's like, yo. <laughs> I can relate to that. Dude with an axe hitting some mobs. No, I don't think Fulcrum Chieftain will get nerfed. Yeah, I mean, I, I would genuinely be interested in knowing what you think they're doing to make the game more accessible and, you know, like, simple or whatever. Like, they're doing, like, the literal exact opposite, right? They're making it so, like, you no longer have a clear choice when you're using skill gems because the skill gems are no longer more multipliers. That in itself adds fucking 10 extra layers of complexity because it's no longer about going into POB and clicking more multipliers and fucking clicking the top one. It's about creating synergistic interactions in your build, first of all. Secondly, weapon swapping. Thirdly, you can have any gem anywhere. That alone, having, like, fucking 10 six links. Uh, oh, it's dumbing it down. No, if you're gonna say some shit, bro, you need to have some points to back that up because this kind of fucking shit pisses me off, bro. Hello. Weapon swapping is kind of pain. It's automatic. What the fuck pain is it about something being automatic? Oh, my weapon is swapping automatically. I'm in pain. Shut up, you fucking XDD rat chatter. <laughs> like, what is you talking about, bruv? Yeah, but you can still be able to play that, bro. Like, nothing's fucking wrong with that. You can still play two-button builds. Like, who's stopping you? Oh, now, now he's using the 18-hour-a-day example. Classic. Nice argument, bro. Cool. Thorn shield. Oh, he's doing another one? What the f- I didn't even finish yesterday's fucking VOD. Yeah, PoE2 is gonna have like <laughs> all kinds of builds, bro. I mean, to be fair, in that guy's favor, the only thing that dumps a down is actually having in game description. What things do? At least what Jonathan said would be a thing. I don't know how to Google what does this do. 
You don't have to... Yeah, but that that's good. That's not dumbing down. They're not dumbing down mechanics. They're just making them more... It should, it's like... Yeah, you could say that's like accessibility, because it is. That That is accessibility, but it's, that's the good kind of accessibility, right? Because they're not dumbing down their game, it's just they're doing more explanation, right? That's the way to go. It's like, don't make the game simpler, just explain its complexity better, right? That's how you get fucking... That's how you, like, uh, yeah. Like, stick to your guns, keep the complexity, but explain it. That's the good shit. No, no, I, no, I, I get you, but that that is a... I get you, like... But, but yeah, it's it's not really, like, an argument, IMO. Like, that's just, like, a win-win for, like, literally everyone, right? Because... Ob, ob, I think the word is obs, obfuscating? I don't fucking know, bro. I don't know the English word. Like, being obscure is not, like... it's It doesn't add complexity. It just makes the game worse in every way. like mystery mechanics are fucking dog shit like who wants to like not know what's actually happening to their character nobody because under uh, through understanding you create like like progress right like if, if if someone if someone understands how something works they can they can they can leverage that knowledge to make that thing better and that's why poe builds are so fucking cool because we got to the point where we can like ex like exploit mechanics in a very cool way because of our understanding of them. If things are explained better, then we don't have to like fucking hang around in BA and see how many like poison stacks we have on our character or whatever, right? Like even though that's like kind of interesting gameplay, sometimes it's annoying. But if that was like explained somewhere how something behaves mechanically, then it would just accelerate. Um and improve build creation. It's obstantably pretty obstinate to obfuscate mechanic obstutely. Couldn't have said it better myself. You have an adamant, a shimmy, and an iron square shield. Little bro. Go get a fucking rune shimmy from, uh... Zamorakian warriors, you degenerate. XDD walk your way to fucking ZMI. Go. Go, go right now. Go right now. Yeah, Glyph of Inside is fucking weird, isn't it? It's kinda cool, though. Tuna, is your filter for level 75, 100? Or do I need to enable some shit? Where's my filter? Wait, which filter? The filter I'm using right now? How do you have my filter? I never shared it. I've like purposely never shared it because <laughs> I know some motherfucker's gonna be like, because I'm, I'm hiding shit that the other ones wouldn't want to hide, you know? You guys want my filter? I can send you my filter, bro. How do I send you my filter? How do people do it? You know when like you click the link and there's that fucking page that rocks up? How do they do that? Yeah, and then what? People are using what?
Like, what is this thing that they use? They go loot filter and then you click this, right? Raw GitHub user content. What the fuck is that? Raw GitHub user. The fuck? I mean, I guess. Now what? There you go, bitch. You're welcome, bro. But yeah, it's pr it's hiding some stuff. Yeah. I'll I'll give you guys like a quick rundown of how it works. Right here is like. Things that you immediate you immediately need. So like if you immediately need something, like an affix that to for shattering, you put it here. These ones are high affix value. So like things that you might need or like over time. But I'm currently hiding it. You can you can you can show it, and it's showing like you know all the like good affixes for this build that you might want to shatter. Uh, experimental affixes, whatever. Here I'm hiding all the dog shit affixes, and then the rest is basically just like yeah. So like if you ever see an affix and you're like, why is that affix showing? I want to hide it. That's this rule here. You know how it works? It's not about knowing how it works, it's just about like how I've structured it, right? Just about like getting a small understanding of like where I've put what. I'm a circle of fortune. I missed! I missed again. That's a lot of gaze, holy shit. That's so much gaze. Look at that damage. <laughs> what the fuck? Boop. Like when you're actually on him? The damage is just not okay. The lights randomly turned off, but your PC never turned off. Interesting. Do you have like one of those like power box things?
I don't know. At the moment, I, ju I do feel like loot is like very plentiful in this game. I don't think anybody's com gonna complain about not seeing loot. I keep getting like very, very good affixes, but on the skull. And the skull is not good. Okay, I guess I could legit just go crit base now. That's a bit trollo, I think. Imagine going like hybrid crit. <laughs> I don't know, I'll, I'll be interested to see if like somebody actually playing some crit based uh, stuff on the Vorlock. This way does the vendor have exalt- the vendor has exalted items? I guess like he can get all kinds of items, even like uniques and whatnot. Let's crit scale with dot. Uh. No, you'd have to like redo the entire build. And play it with the sp spine of Malatros. Go for like the tentacle whips, fire, fire base, tentacle whippage. It sounds cool though. Whoopsh, whoopsh. Wait, does, does, does dot crit in this game? Can dot crit in this game? No, just hits. So why is he scaling crit on bleed? Huh? Huh? Just for the spread. But s spreading that shit is like whatever, no? Doesn't matter. If crit applies the ailment. If it maybe it's like in PoE where like isn't isn't crit like a fifty percent multiplier for ailments in PoE by default? It gives you a lot of extra bleed stacks. Hmm. That's a passive. No. Stop it. Stop. Critical strikes inherently always ignite, freeze, and shock. Uh, these ailments, blah, blah, blah. Damaging ailments from critical strikes do not scale with crit multi by default, but inherently have plus 50% to damage over time multiplier, additive with other sources of damage over time multiplier stats. Yeah, so it's it's not 50% more damage, it's 50% more dot multi, inherently. I died. I forgot to ward it up. So like, yeah, I don't know if there's anything like that in, in this game though. There's a lot of sources of dot multi, but I was talking about PoE, yeah. I was just reading the PoE wiki. No, no. Yeah, it does have a, uh, but, but you're not scaling crit, you're just scaling multi, it's a bit different. You're just kind of doing it just so you can actually get the multi, uh, like the more damage multiplicative from multi.
He cares about spreading Spirit Plague on Bleed because the Spirit Plague gives single target like 200 feet. Oh, okay, I see. Yo, Manny, thank you so much for the raid, bro. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah, what's up, everybody? Hello. What up, boys? Got two OP clamor, but min rolls. What's a clamor? Huh. Am I dumb? Hello? You just made a perfect 22 tier item and you shattered it? No. If it makes you feel any better, I had like a T7 item earlier and I rune of ascendance that instead of annulling it. It's not quite as bad as shattering. <laughs> oh, bone clamor. It's not quite as bad as shattering though. <laughs> it's still... That sucks, man. More content to farm? Exactly, bro. Exactly. That's why the Circle of Fortune shit is cool. More shit to find. Mana regen? Okay, okay. Oh, T7 int. Cathonic Fisher? Damage over time. Eh? Interesting. Ah, oh, man. Wait, hang on. We cook. Uh. So, I don't know how much damage over time that gives me the prefix, but... If, yeah, no, this is... Okay. Wait, this might be good actually. But if I if I miss this chaos, because health is useless, what I want is void res or necrotic res or anything, please. Armor. Mm, I mean, it's actually not bad. Uh, yeah. This this is the, the infinite ward shit. But like two LP, man, are you fucking kidding me? I feel like that's just not even worth putting in my stash anymore. Sag. Even like outside of the infinite ward, this build is insanely strong. Like you don't necessarily need to do any like bug abusing <laughs> to get this build to be broken. But with the bug abusing, it's like, yeah, it's kind of next level. It has a giant spoon, yeah. I got a really nice spoon actually. A slam T7 necrotic penetration with T1 multi on it. Truly spooned. So we're at only 500 corruption, but we're uh, we're climbing, bro. We're climbing. We're getting like so much corruption per round, and you just get more and more and more and more and more and more. Everybody love the crowd penetration? Aw. What is the infinite ward? Uh, you can see my ward. That's what the infinite ward thing is. Hmm. Physical damage we take it. Have you thought about what to reroll yet, Manny? Have you or uh, are you still running the? <laughs> what am I doing? Okay. Now we can cook. 
to the ward or free on freeze variant very nice that's op this shit's giga strong Caspian on a fucking skull. Bro, I feel like the skull is so much more common than other idols. Like, wh why am I never getting this catalyst? Hello. Smash Mark Ellie profile. Yo, how are you feeling today, Opon? How's the eyes? Hello. You're welcome, bro. I guess we go that way, we just rush out the side. Yo, very nice. You can already drive your car? Yo, cool. I wonder, how does it feel like to put on your glasses now? Like, do you see blurry now with, with your glasses? Because when I put on glasses, I see blurry. You already threw them away? <laughs> Based. Very nice. Uh, unfortunately not, no. You have to like regrind idols, you have to regrind monoliths, everything, bro. From scratch. It's a bit fucking despair. Is there tech? Uh, yeah, you're just consuming your minions. And uh, Bone Curse counts as a minion. So you consume your minions and you just gain basically their HP as ward. Time to break, let's go. <laughs> Good luck, Unicorn, bro. When I was playing the, the bow character, I managed to like literally never find good dex gear and anything I found, I would just instantly break. Dex gear is cursed. I love not being able to see my loot when I mouse over it. You know what, I'm just gonna like alt F4 just because of uh... Memory leak so I can stop lagging. I wonder if I had to like actually leave. How long is this fucking mix by the way? It's so long.
Yo, sorry, also, and just saw your message. Is there a campaign? And if so, is it faster than PoE? Don't know if you're still there, but there is a campaign. Um, the first time you go through it, probably not faster than PoE's. The, the campaign is pretty cool, though. At least, like, the first time you run through it. And it's, like, modern, unlike PoE. Um... There's, like, ways to kind of, like, skip it. Even on your first playthrough. It all sounds the same anyways. What, techno music? Techno doesn't all sound the same, bro. Shut up. <laughs> what the fuck? All my PC fans, bro. <laughs> okay, like, listen. You went to a Carl Cox show last month. Be jealous, chat. Why would I be jealous? All his songs sound the same. <laughs> Fuck you. I am pretty jealous. <laughs> I am pretty jealous. When I was a small time musician, <laughs> this is like one of those memories that will stick with me for the rest of my life. When I was a small time musician, some like, some like a rich kid basically like flew me over to DJ at his birthday party. <laughs> and nobody showed up. It was, it was like... <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> so what what happened I, I ended up like playing music for like an hour and a half and there's like no one there so I just so I just took him out to drink we just went out and got drunk instead <laughs> it was like man I felt like shit yeah we just went out and fucking got drunk instead but man I was rough I I had never played to no to no one. <laughs> that was like the hardest thing ever, right? It's, it's, it's like embarrassing. Yeah. I guess shit happens. Did you get paid uh, to do the job, but paid for his drinks? I didn't pay for his drinks. <laughs> I paid for my drinks. But yeah, I got paid to do the job. I mean, he was rich after all. He never expected me to pay for anything. That's the thing. Poor guy. Yeah, I felt really bad. Like, he's a nice kid too. But it, it just like... I think I think he was like under the impression that like if he if he if he like got like a big venue and like a DJ people would like uh instantly show up or whatever but <laughs> you know <laughs> you can't buy friends I guess K 
Okay, this is cookable actually. I'm gonna brick it. I'm gonna brick it, bro. Do I send one and all first? I think the only way to do this is to send one and all. Or maybe I just chaos this. But I, because I, I can specifically need necrotic resistance and crit multi. I love this game. Never had a good party. Not bad memories here. To be honest, same. But like birthday parties are fucking gig overrated anyways, bro. Just hang out with family and that's it. I mean, maybe it mattered more to me as a kid, but like I, I don't I don't know. Not really. Strength and Fizz Res. Fuck. Bro, this is like... Mm, I need to get rid of the Lightning Res. But like, how do I do that? I just have to annul. Please get rid of the lightning reds. Okay, okay, okay. Necrotic resistance. Yeah, yeah. Oh, if I take this off, what happens? My fire and cold res get bricked. That's so lucky, actually. Never mind. The luck ran out. I, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Fuck! The luck ran out, bro. It rolls to 37. I don't know. That's kind of sad. It says specifically like spell multi. Yeah, like spell multi is huge, right? But you lose so much ES retention. I don't know. At some point, I'll... I don't know. I don't think damage really matters at this point, to be honest with you.
ja, ja. I was more like trying to justify like wearing it over what I have right now, but I don't I don't wanna like have to rejuggle my resistances. My priority right now is like fixing my amulet, because I have a good amulet, but the problem with it is it's not a bone base, so it it's instantly dog shit because it's not a bone base. So yeah, I'm I already spent like 100k trying to get amulets today. 100k favor, I mean. Oh shit, I leveled up, what the fuck, I didn't realize. Bro, I get to I get to like kill the boss like four times before I do an uh, an Oribus. LP clamor. Inventory in this game fucking fills up so fast, no? My helmet, my helmet sucks, bro. My helmet is not good. However, I'm, I'm work. Yo, I love this fucking gloves. My favorite gloves in the game, actually. But throwing throwing damage builds are like ass. What I'm trying to do right now is I'm trying to transfer uh, something onto this. So I'm trying to find bases to craft onto this. I already have bases. Like right here, I have two two legendary potential bone climber, and then I have like necrotic res, intelligence, 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 intelligence. So I'm gonna be like crafting. Uh, some of those at some point to try to get like transfer over Bro, what are the odds? Never mind Fuck it go boom, okay, it's trash now and all it <laughs> Don't look. <laughs> what are your thoughts on crafting in this game, chat? <laughs> now that you guys have had uh, maybe a little bit more time playing around with it. If I say what I think, I'll get banned. But you're just like a con- you, 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 I think you specifically just always say the, the opposite of what I uh, what I think, like on purpose. I've hated it forever. Don't ask me. Oh, I don't really like crafting in this game. <laughs> I prefer crafting in PoE. Because <laughs> uh, crafting in PoE feels more like a project. In this game, it feels more like 
Oh, I found something. Let me do this. Oh, it's bricked. Like, it feels cool when you hit it, but they don't feel like projects crafting. That's the main reason I don't like it. It doesn't feel like progress, like, like a project. You hate projects? Fair enough. Yo, what's up, Nero? I mean, if they could capture somehow, like, uh, a system where, like, crafting is, like, sort of like it is now, but it, I don't want it to be easier. I just want it to actually feel like I'm working towards something. Do you know what I mean? That's all. Because crafting in this game kind of, like, is over instantly, right? It's not like you're, like, undergoing, like, a, oh, fucking... I guess crafting, uh, like, legendary potential is technically a project. So legendary potential kind of feels cool, but it's at the mercy of, uh... The other part of crafting. But if it wasn't RNG, the crafting potential, you would just have everything you want instantly for free. That's so like to play devil, devil's advocate. Just there's a reason why the system is the current currently the way it is. That's the problem. If I had less variance, bro, you would just like get, you would just get your items. Fucking like, take your experiences aside and try to envision a system better, cause it's it's hard. It's really hard. Like yeah, it's like I want my items to not break. <laughs> It's like, yeah, I want my items to not break too, but there's a reason why items have to break. Because in the current system, then otherwise you would just fucking have all your items, like, instantly for free with no, no real, you know. Is this the, this is not the bleed variant, no. You can type exclamation mark LE profile. You see what I'm playing? Kiwi has way too much crafting stuff. Yeah, but most of the crafting stuff is invalidated from by uh, by new systems, which is kind of like a bad thing to be honest. I wish like old crafting ways were still good, but at its core, meta crafting is always going to be good. I'm um, gonna try to like push it out further, or maybe I shouldn't actually. It's probably wiser to just go here into here because I already have uh, Giga Gaze. All he does is Exalt Slam. That's true. That, that's why I mean like Metacrafting is always at its core, right? That's what I meant by that. But when it comes to like that kind of stuff, this is not like crafting that people are generally exposed to. So I don't I don't necessarily think that matters at all. Again, okay, when you're trying to craft hyper specific mirror tier items or whatever the fuck, like then you get into this sort of stuff. But people don't. That's not how people craft. People craft by fractured base into essence spam into uh, eldritch spam. Into potentially an Ashling if they're feeling spicy. You hate bricks? No, I get it. I get it, bro. I hate losing too. But I think you can't just always win. If if there's no like lose condition in video games, the video game is dog shit. That's the problem. So like sometimes I might sound like a fucking contrarian, it's like, oh like you know, like agreeing with like Chris's vision and weight and stuff, but there's a reason why that kind of stuff exists because if there was no friction, if there was no weight, fucking there would be no game, right? Like it would just be like, like game, like I don't know. It's like, yeah, there would just be no game. 
DJ Khaled only wins? True, actually. The biggest project is uh, to buy the mats for crafting. Um, I mean, that's how you choose to play. That's not how the game is designed, though. So I, I kind of disagree. Only reason people hate crafting in PoE is because... Uh, it's because... It's worse than it used to be. It's because it got more complex, right? Most people never get into PoE crafting, really. Yeah, I mean, you don't have to if you're playing Trade League. But yeah, if you're trying to go for like 1% crafts, then obviously you have to spam a lot, but... That's like... 1% crafts, like, I don't necessarily feel like that should be the example here. Like, everything is achievable in SSF and PoE, given enough time, right? Like, you guys come over from Manny's stream, you guys know that. No, but that's the thing about PoE is there's like so many different things you could specialize in. You don't you don't necessarily have to like know everything. Just do one mechanic at a time, you know. PoE is like easier now than it's ever been because of you know Craft of Exile, YouTube videos, Max Roll. There's like everything. All the resources are there. Is 100% spell damage the same as 100% necrotic damage? Yes. Pretty much. Playing PoE without Path of Building was absolute dog shit. It was like unplayable, yeah. Well, also just like knowing how to craft before Craft of Exile was also dog shit. I remember, I remember like watching Iron literally just like spam fossils, writing down the odds and percentages. Like before we found out that it was a times 10 multiplier to rolling mods of that specific type, right? Like, the, the, like this information was never really like public. It's stuff that's like, it's like new stuff that's been data mined or figured out or whatever that's then been collected on a website like Craft of Exile. But before that, we literally had to just fucking guess. So. <laughs> It was just pure guesswork. PoE without PoE was not dog shit. I guess it depends what you're into. But the builds were definitely dog shit. Before that we were... There were people who were finding out and making bank there still is like that, that that's not changed it was good back then and it was good now bro stop being so short-sighted some people like making builds in kiwi And if there was no POB and they liked making builds and they had no ability to make builds, then the game was dog shit for them. Just because it was good for you doesn't mean it was good for other people. That's you have to like look at it from like the broader perspective. You know? Put yourself in somebody else's shoes. Like you can't invalidate somebody's point of view just because you think something else. Like it was probably dog shit for him.
Like, don't take what people say as, like, absolutes, like... If he says the game was dog shit, it's his opinion. It's not because the fucking game was dog shit, right? I mean, how, how is that legitimately the opposite one? You just spend more time in POB than playing the game. <laughs> okay, I never played D4. How is it? I mean, bro, there's people that enjoy D4. Just because I say it's bad, like doesn't like invalidate the fact that some people might enjoy it. But I think it's fucking bad. But you know when somebody says something, when I say D4 bad, that's my opinion. It's not absolute. And it just turns it just fucking turns out that like hundreds and hundreds of people share the same opinion. That's why it's a meme. Yeah, maybe hundreds of thousands even. I'd argue that if enough people hold an opinion, it's true. No. I disagree. Like, otherwise, like, racism wouldn't exist, right? When it comes to quality of entertainment. I mean, the thing about entertainment is that it's subjective. Like, you can look at things... Like, it, I, I disagree with that, as, again. Like, there's people that enjoy complete fucking trash dog shit music, in my opinion. Right? But they like it. And same thing with video games. I don't know. Who can barely articulate what they like? Why they like the things they do? <laughs> it's it's true. <laughs> That's also pretty true. You got invited? What's I Reddit IPO? What the fuck is that? It's kind of like Stormbrand, Catonic Fisher. It's kind of cool. Wise man once said some people like having a dick in their salad. <laughs> that's fucking Asmongold that says that, bro. <laughs> that's a fucking obscure reference. I remember that stream too. <laughs> what the fuck? I, I swear, like, he said that once. He was in his. He was in his fucking... Bro, he was legit in his garrison and he said that. I don't know why I have this memory. That's <laughs> such a banger.
Certified Aspen Lore Master. Before I was streaming, I was watching a lot of Twitch. I don't even actually know how loud the music is. It's not even that loud, what the fuck? Like pancakes or waffles more? I think like waffles are American things. Pancakes, 1000%. Waffles are kind of gross. I mean, I like waffles, but they're they're a bit gross. They're so sweet. Yeah. What the fuck? I went you sub. Thank you for subbing. Did somebody give to you a sub? <laughs> Man, he just fucking ghost subbed. Mm. Thanks, bro. Waffles are literally just pancakes. Maybe, maybe because like I, I'm, I'm, maybe I'm referring to only sucre waffles. You know, like the the ones from the Netherlands. I maybe I ate too much of the. Is there any Dutch people in the chat? Because there's like certain things that you you eat if you're like going to school in the Netherlands that I just became so fucking sick of. For example, yeah, like stroop waffle. I hate those now. Fucking frikandel. I hate that shit. It's disgusting. Fucking croquette. I hate croquette. It's fucking so gross. <laughs> Just because when I was in fucking high school, that's all we ate, bro. So I ended up just hating that shit. <laughs> oh, Funko's WTF. Dude, Frikandel is disgusting. Bitter Bolin? I didn't have that that much. Because that's like, specifically only a Christmas thing. Hello? 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 What happened? Vibe off. <laughs> what the fuck happened? Maybe maybe it's like got DMCA and you had to mute it or some shit. I mean to be honest, I actually do like Stoop Waffle. I think it's good. That's like one of the things that I've managed to retain my enjoyment for. I still think pancakes are better though. The pancakes are insane. No? Like all kinds of cat pancakes. You have crepes. You have like American pancakes. You have like salty pancakes. Have you guys ever had like the salty ones? Those are good too. Yeah, I know, I know. You mean like the waffles with the squares in them, the dough. I know what a fucking waffle is, bro. <laughs> Yo, a 3LP, what the fuck? 3LP fire starter. Holy fuck. Ignite build? Pac-Man? I went on a rant about cheese. How is it a rant? What do you mean rant? Probably just talking about cheese. 
Who doesn't like cheese, bro? I feel like if there's like something to justify ranting about though, it's cheese. Cheese is base, dude. It's base aga. Wait, did I leave? Was the echo not done and I left? Oh no. Anyone know how to bypass the infinite loading screen when trying to get in and out of towns? That's still a thing. Is that really still a thing? Huge. Yeah, you could play offline. But online, it's like fine now. I don't know. I leveled like two days ago and it was fine. There's a bug on related to servers. Oh. Bro, these echoes where the dude is running away from me, though. Yeah, I think like offline and online are actually just like separate games at this point, like the way they function. Great progress with my bag. You can sit comfortably in your chair after some stretches. Okay. I need to get like a pull up bar, bro. This shit's like OP for your back. Okay, I pull up. Didn't have inventory space, so <laughs> it unlucky. Wow, okay. All right, 50 necrotic res, 20 all res, 63 damage over time, 45 multi, 15 int. I'm missing 10 fire and 10 cold.
Mhm. Mhm. I love these guys, bro. <laughs> these guys are insane. Some of them are fucking so degenerate, though. I don't know, I don't know if I want to use this. The one with kink was solid. I don't think I've heard that one. Do we skip it? This one, the live one. Or this one. Holy shit, my eyes. <laughs> Go back? Okay. Yeah, my favorite one is the heartstring one. That one's fucking OP. I like that one like a hundred times more than all these other mixes, to be honest. Okay, amulets. We get a good amulet, for sure. When you're trying to get a blessing, you never get it, right? It's like, yeah, it's like you're cursed. I'm gonna get a bone amulet and then my entire build is fixed with a bone amulet. Bone amulet fractured multi or exalted multi, I mean.
<laughs> this skill is so fucking OP. <laughs> like, what the f- What do you this skill in PoE, thoughts? What the fuck? Bro, I would log in for a Catonic Fisher in PoE. It's like a, it's like a non-dog shit totem. Too repetitive chat. However, the same mix that we've listened to a million times, that is not repetitive en enough. Oh. YouTube music is not responding. Okay, we're just gonna sit in the quiet for a bit here. Classic. Puts on techno mix? <laughs> Wait, what do you mean 10 euros per month? 10 euros per month for what? There's a difference between fucking boop, 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 boop. Boop, 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 boop. For like seven minutes and techno, bro. Shut up, you fucking rat. <laughs> this isn't bad, correct? This is uh, last epoch, bro. This mix is actually insane now. It's like actually really good. Like this build makes you not mind arena rounds as well. Where's the bone? Where's the bone amulets chat? Are you guys hiding the bone amulets? Give them back. Please. Gosling Drive. Can you combine a dagger with an axe? No. The same base type has to have. For LP, you mean, yeah? Yeah. I'm hiding a pump with no amulet. I don't like this layout. <laughs> I don't like it at all. This layout is so annoying.
Bro, I have these with like a million LP, these gloves. Hello. What's happening here? Yo. Chat, why you, how'd you let him do that? The fuck? So many exalteds from the chest. Is that you, bro? Are you Ryan Gosling? Holy shit, big fan, bro. I missed a message. Do you think... Do you think that grinding perfect blessings for gold drops is a more pog move than trade? Guild. Um, I mean, yeah. Like, having like a perfect gold drop rune will definitely be the best one for you in trade guild. 100%. But it, dep it depends what you're trying to prioritize. Because, like, honestly, that blessing is totally up to you. You don't... They're all okay. I, I prefer, like, unique drop rate. Insult the wound, like, giga rare as well. I think it is. No LP on it, though, but whatever. Ivory ring... Okay. Elemental damage with caric damage. It's kind of a shame, actually. I don't think I could do anything with that. At least I don't think. Hmm, can you? Yeah, I can't, I can't, like, I just need an amulet. That's the only thing I need. Like, without, without a good amulet, I'm basically just bricked. Okay, we're gonna get a Giga Ring here. Do I see any Ivories? I don't see any Ivories, never mind. No Giga Ring. Why is one Ivory?
What is this layout? Is it just that it's like very sunny and why it looks different? Shroud. Holy. Shroud was the person that said that he likes that there was only like four stash tabs in Diablo 4. He was defending Blizzard. It was uh, good times. Oh, well, his reasoning is that, like, he had to care about what he picks up. <laughs> it's like... <laughs> but, yeah. But fucking three tabs, bro. Are you fucking dead ass? Like, the fuck. I think I just reset at 10. I don't I don't know if it's like actually ever worth trying to fish for like 12 cuz like Orbis is fucking that man. I feel like as soon as you come across him you should just do him. I'm not lying, but that video is on YouTube. I think like he legit up uploaded it to his YouTube. What the f parry chance? The mod must be super rare because I don't feel like I've ever even seen it. It's not even about being afraid, it's just... You're just cooked. Really you constantly say parachance? Let me run this shit in. The corruption is climbing pretty fast. Parry is cool, it doesn't carry over when crafting LP? What? Nah. Is that true? Oh! What the f. I'm so bad. Is that real? Uh, is it true? Yeah, if that's true, that's fucking broken. But to be fair, it is a prefix. Like, usually prefixes you kind of... Is that true? Hello. Ziggy mentioned it in a video.
No, the da the damage is good. I'm telling you, I told you, like, my damage is insane. Like, my build is fucking broken right now. It's not slowing down either. It's like, it's, it's like I'm getting more and more and more damage every upgrade. Did they release this song yet? I'm pretty sure it was released a long time ago. Don't remember it though. It's kind of a classic. I hear it all the time. <laughs> Why do you like it? Oh, it's a remix. Yeah, I'm wrong then. There's a time step? Yo, why are you shouting, bro? I can hear you. In the boots, let's go. What is bro cooking? Some acid flask shit. Kind of the one that I want the most. It won't, it, it can't hit the parry, so I'm not worried about Why? that. It's just about that poison. Why can't it hit the parry? Yeah, baby. Oh, we got. Oh, yes. Three best stats. <laughs> but if you can't hit the parry, then you're guaranteed to get the three best stats. I'm, one that I want I'm a... the most. Oh, wait, 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 what? Oh, no, bro, because it's like. Because he put the parry as like. He despaired it. That's why I can't hit the parry. You misunderstood. It's not that I can't hit the parry, it's that it's. Uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's Glyph of Despaired. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 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 we do indeed all learn from that, bro. Chat, I'm gonna need you to stand up right now and stretch your back. Bro, I just like cracked my back. Stand up right now. Stand up right up meow. You heard that? That's <laughs> nice. You don't crack your back. Cracking your back is like the best thing ever. Bonk. This boy is like tanky, huh? Come back. Man, where's the, the where did the time go? I've already been streaming five hours. Oh, oh. What the fuck? Did you see him? He just drifted. He doesn't give a fuck. He drifted like right over the stairs. When I first swapped, I was worried about having to re-up my ward. Nah, yeah, you don't have to worry at all. 
your ward retention keeps you up for so long, right? It's really not bad. Any guide for this version? I'll record a video today, and maybe my editor uploads it tomorrow. How about that? How about that? I will do that. I will do this. I actually recorded a video like two days ago, but my editor didn't have time, so I'm re-recording -re it because I've improved the build a lot since then. I stole some technology from... I stole a lot of technology from Jesse. I stole some technology from Curse. So I think I think the build is like GG now, actually. And it's even going to be GG after the nerfs, if they nerf it. You just gotta get more minion health after their nurse to like sustain like 50k plus ward. I think like if they if they like nerf it, then the build will feel like will feel fair. You know what I mean? Right now, it, right now it doesn't feel fair. Right now it just feels unfair. For like every other build in the game, I mean. Because this build has like... Amazing clear, amazing damage, and it's fucking immortal, like... It's immortal, I, I, I die sometimes, so that's only because I, for, I just like... My brain's shut off. You're enjoying it so far? The game is very good, bro. It got so much better from 0 0.9. Like, it improved so much. I'm tempted to remove throwing damage. For my filter. Well, you know what I need to get? I need to get like a foot rest, bro. I feel like 70% of the time I'm sitting like a degenerate just because I'm doing some sh dumb shit with my legs. And you guys got a foot rest chat? What's it like? You can put some XDD chatter under your desk so you can rest your legs. What do I look like? Fucking Pokemane? Which one of you motherfuckers would do that for me, bro? You have one from Ikea? Yeah, I feel like I sit like a degenerate because I cross my legs all the time. Either, either I have my legs like that, and they're just like out straight like that, or I have them like, like that, you know, like crossed, like, or, uh, yeah. So, I always give myself a dead leg, it's so ass. Like, I think I get a dead leg like seven times a day. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know if that's like good. Yeah, you both your legs go numb, right? I'm gonna give my like honest opinion. I wish they didn't send me this chair. I don't like this chair. <laughs> I think this chair sucks. <laughs> don't tell anyone.
Uh, Herman Miller Errol for seven years. Uh, like, if I ever buy myself my own house, I, I will get like all of those expensive furnitures that I've always wanted. I've just never really felt like... Because, you know, like when you're like living in like rental or like a space that's not necessarily like yours, you, you never feel like you can like buy things. Cause like, who knows bro, like, what, if I like, ever have to leave or some shit. Could like, you get like, commitment issues. The board form concrete. You can see here, this kitchen is La Cornu with this beautiful board for concrete all up the side. Here we go, the cupboards are La Cornu as well. <laughs> Isn't that beautiful, Mikey? Grimoire. It's trash. I want the four LP Grimoire now. Yo, fiery dragon shoes two, legendary potential. Holy, that's big. I could actually make like a sick ignite build, but what's the point, bro? What's the point? Yeah, were you just looking up board form concrete? Like fuck it's not common in the states. It is though. It's just common in in like rich people houses. It's like the minimalist industrial look. Really? You never seen that shit in your contractor? If you ever, if you ever, you know those those videos of that dude that takes you around like luxury houses. I forget what his name is. Uh what's his fucking name? Eans, yeah, Eans. Not it's not DJ Khaled, bro. Listen. What's your obsession with DJ K? I feel like you fucking mentioned him like four times today, bro. In those dog shit houses that try to pretend to be luxurious? Yeah, exactly. They're basically just like tax write-offs, I think, for the most part, for like Omega Giga rich people. They're not even actual homes. <laughs> they had the same song. <laughs> Them bathrooms in like two to three million dollar houses that shits all over those California shells, yeah.
Is, is that is that the new fours in emotes? It's just like uh, like all of a sudden it's just all doctor emotes. <laughs> Relationship with fours is over. Doctor is my new best friend. Oh, that's fucking cool. You added all of them? I know, I was here, bro. Party all the time, party all the time. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Your brother found the best thing ever will happen. Are you guys bugging the game again? Stop, stop bugging the game. <laughs> okay. <laughs> This arena is too big. I don't like it. There was video? Hang on, hang on. Is it, uh... Basically, infinite speed, infinite ward, infinite damage. <laughs> okay, what the fuck? <gasps> Who posted it? Zakar. Okay, it's broke cooking. watching a video today i have something quite interesting for y'all so um i've been doing another build on primalis i'm trying to level that up and i've got him to empower and i've been kind of farming empowered on him but at the same time um i wanted to test something uh, because i kind of knew about this bug prior but uh i wanted to test something and see if i could make this bug into something that kind of works um unfortunately i did do that <laughs> But at the same time, the build is so, it's so bad. Like, it is so bad. Um, so, let's see. Um, you're probably watching the build as I'm speaking. And <laughs> as I'm talking about it, it's probably, you're probably like, what the heck is going on here? Uh, so, I pretty much have found a way to, you know, sustain Ghost Flame for a reasonable amount of time. And also kind of like fill in some mana gen with Drain Life. Granted, it's not the best. And... I honestly don't know what to do. This build is janky, and I'm not going to flush it out because <laughs> it's so buggy, and it's going to get patched, but I figured it might be some to play with the idea. What the fuck is that damage? What am I and, seeing? Um, not crash the servers. I'm going to go over some of the stuff. Um, he crashed the server. Uh, in more in detail, but essentially the highlight of this build is um, it has a ramp time, obviously, but uh, you get infinite uh, ignite chance um I'll, I'll have a screenshot or something but um i've gotten to a, a certain amount actually i'll put a video um you'll probably see it here in just a bit but uh i put it i put a video and you'll see like you'll get insane amounts of uh ignite chance and then um at the same time you'll also get uh, a bunch of ward so a lot of ward uh, and it takes a little bit to ramp to kind of get there. But like the ward but looks a bunch of movement speed so weird. Flame. Uh, you'll be able to sustain it in packs a lot better. Like what is uh, going on? Target, you'll be able to sustain it for a pretty good uptime. And you can kind of like preemptively ramp it before you fight the boss, obviously. But yeah. 
So I'm going to go over whatever I came up yeah. with this monster. It's Ward Cab. And then okay. if you guys want to work with the idea, because I'm no what? longer. Right, so, um, what the fuck? Yeah, if you guys want to uh, take what, those whatever bars. Series, the, the interaction of the bug before it gets hot fixed and mess with it, then that's what this video is for. So welcome to Infinite Ignite, Infinite Ward. Let's go. All right, so for the infinite ward and infinite ignite how does it work let's get down into it let's figure it out look at these jank skills okay they're all horrible all right i just want you <laughs> to know that and these are horrible so um all right ghost flame this is the cream de la crème. you know what i'm saying like it's well however you say that i don't know how to say it but i'm trying my best here all right so essentially with ghost flame what we're gonna have here is we are abusing a bro's goofy I like him. this node down here spirit kindling so this node right here if you finagle your way in a certain like mouse position you'll be able to essentially apply this buff to yourself and you get the move speed per stack so 200 percent move speed um, so that equates to like 100 percent because of all the reductions from ghost flame and then uh, you also get your ignite chance and this ramps because it's 30% of your ignite chance to your ignite chance. Oh my god. Every 0 0.5 seconds. So it just sits there and ramps and ramps. It's like, oh, new 30%. And these stacks like are refreshing, right? So they're like, um, they're not refreshing, but they're like, <laughs> oh my god. As one falls off your game. So he just you found a way to apply the spirit kindling buff to himself. The duration, they last five seconds. And you gain one every 0 0.5 seconds. So it's pretty crazy. So what I do is I take the movement. Um, for whatever reason, the stationary, I mean, it doesn't, want, doesn't feel good to be stationary, in my opinion. And it sucks to ramp in that, in that way because you can't dodge and deflect, you know? So I take the move speed um, while channeling. Who's this? Uh, uh, that way, if, you know, you'll start ramping and be able to move really fast because you have 100%. This is a car. Speed. And it allows us to get the channel cost reduction here. So I take the channel cost reduction. I don't care about the negative 40% move speed. doesn't matter because we'll we're going to have 100% or 200%, right? So we'll just have 100% instead. Oh, no. So you can make it faster probably, too. I did not work out the gear. I didn't, I'm just going to give you guys the planner that I have right now. How do you now. clear monoliths? Exactly how it is. There's, this, this isn't the guide, okay? This is just me showing you this interaction. If you guys want to take off with it, you can. All right. So channel cost. Get more channel cost reduction and then i come up here and i take the marrow shard frequency stuff and this is because marrow shards is giving us mana all right so let's go ahead and head to marrow shards this is pretty much a tree so it's this but you have to speak into marrow shards as well and then marrow shards because this is how we're going to hit our ignite you could take this node or whatever i couldn't really work this in and kind of like keep it up and sustain it for very long but this node i mean this would be insane too right you're just doing a billion times whatever this node 200 percent so times two and then double and you're just doing that every second but i think this is nice too so mirror shards the reason why we're taking mirror shards is because we can get these uh, mirror orbs and they can give us mana so it's 20 percent 20 percent 40 percent chance to get a mirror orb and then a 30 percent chance to get the mana from one of those mirror orbs so stacked probability here but you know um it works out, especially in packs, right? So I take the splinter stuff and I just take the uh, speed and range. Nothing else really matters. All this is doing is applying our ignites. That's it, because we get an infinite amount, right? So uh, I take Bogan Curse because I was going to use it for to actually do the damage ramp and to get the ignite to go and get this buff to actually apply to yourself. It does take a little bit of finesse. So you have to have a Wraith or a Spectre down um, to actually proc the buff. And then once you do that, you just kind of, it's hard to explain, but you can drag your mount, mouse up and then towards the Wraith and then away from it. And then um, it's like you have to keep your mouse kind of like on the outer edge of Ghost Flame. <laughs> it's a little weird, but uh, essentially at any point, if you ever kind of like, okay, whoops, I'm out of mana. <laughs> you keep the movement speed? Alright, so if at any point you ever like 
can I see? I just drag it out to the outside, let it ramp. Okay, so 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 it stopped ramping now. It's because my mouse is kind of not in the right position, but you can kind of just throw your mouse and refine the position, I guess, if that makes sense. Um, I'm losing the stacks and now I got them back. Um, but yeah, that's essentially how it works, right? So if Ghost Flame's outer edge is like right there um, where I'm clicking, then you would need to spawn a Wraith, drag back here, and then kind of point to where that, where I was clicking that distance, right? And it'll just start ramping up stacks. If you mess with it, you'll kind of figure it out and get a hang of it. So what the fuck, helps. bro? <laughs> what the fuck? Okay. Um. One this game, bro. What is this game? That's all you need, right? There's nothing else. You just got damage reduction now. Oh yeah, the speed buff, of course. How do I get there fast? Just up here, I guess. These guys actually went, hey, you know what? We put in exactly, yeah. It's really cool. It's like legit really cool. No, I mean, I can't use it yet, obviously. What was the knife called? Ghostmaker. Bro, it's like I forgot how to play my build now. Cause like, I don't know why, like, all of a sudden I just... I can't dash around, and I'm like bricked mentally. So it's like, where's the mana stuff, by the way? Uh, Okay, that works. Yo, Salas, thank you so much, bro.
Wait, they dis- fuck, they disappeared, bro. Summon the boys? Okay. <laughs> I run I run out of mana, bro. It seems like Giga Clunky to use though. Bro, I'm already like <laughs> I, I run out of mana though. How much fucking mana region do you have, bro? Like I, I think you need like a gig of mana region, no? I just have like one mana region roll, that's basically it. Looks kind of fun. Oh, it's like brick though. Cause like also like you have to I mean like how do I deal damage? You know? <laughs> I have to deal damage. Yeah, but you have to like ramp it, right? Uh, I think I think I need like way more cast speed for this shit or mana region actually, because it co it costs so much mana. Can you sustain that shit? Take the mana reduce shit? Yeah, this stuff, right? Oh, is there something I fucked up? I'm missing two? Oh. Let me get some wards so I can respect some points. Wait, what? These ones? I guess I didn't take them because it, it said like more... Mm. Izzy, 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 Izzy. It's sore but ma more manageable, yeah, because I just run out insta. Which is that now? It's still five mana cost <laughs> with one point. <laughs> Is that just like a visual bug? 
The mana cost didn't change. Or do I, does it like snapshot for the instance or some shit? Oh, because like the movement speed is like negatively affected. What makes it ramp up and go down, by the way? Like, what? what is that? I don't know, man. <laughs> this is like so clunky. And the mana cost is still fun. Oh no, it's 15 chat. Oh, I see. It's just like clunky as fuck, though. Like, it's a cool gimmick, but I don't know, man. I'm out of mana, no. You need mana regen like a lot more than what I have. To make this good, I think. Maybe I should try, I, I could try make like a ring with mana regen on it. It disables regen? Do channel- oh, I guess they do actually. Channels disable regen in this game, don't they? Yeah. But I, I just can't recover like after I finish channeling as well, do you know what I mean? Just fucking perma oom. You could just use Mara Shard shit for infinite mana. Yeah. I, I, it's pretty cool. It doesn't work on my setup though. It's like legit bricked on my setup. That's fucking cool though. On my setup it's just like straight up bricked. Feels bad, man. You have 350 mana, why? You, you got like the mana... The mana blessing? Bro, why does that even happen? 
how does like how is it, how and why does that even happen? Like this game, bro. This is a goofy uh, game. The mana blessing and mono weapon. Oh yeah, right. I mean, it's cool because like you don't have to like re-ramp, right? You don't have to. You don't have to like ever re-ramp. Like you kind of just you keep you click it and then it's like basically ramped again, but. Wait, how do you have the modern weapon if you're using Ghost Flame though, huh? Or does it work without Ghost Flame? Or did you got the modern weapon? W I'm confusion. Has T Force you alive in the five hybrid? Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How the fuck are you summoning your wraith then? That's so sad that like... Bro, like imagine if Necromancer had access to Ghost Flame. Then, then you could actually legit make one of the coolest builds in the game. Like imagine. Holy fuck. Necromancer has Ghost Flame? No, it's Warlock. Why would you want to be Necro? Well, because then you don't ever have to stop to fucking right click or anything like that, right? Well, you can get it. Wait, you can make a uh, bro. Yeah, I mean you can then. Do, do I have to? Yo, do we have to make that build? What the fuck? Bro, you just you just go with like this helmet, right? So you you constantly have your minion just hanging out, so you don't have to worry about that shit. And he summons his boys as well. You just fucking don't worry about it. And then you just go ghost flaming everywhere. You just fucking. <laughs> That's fucking. And you just get max movement speed, fucking wraith lord shit, bro. <laughs> with marrow shard proking. Hello. How does that not- that sounds sick! Is that- what, yo! Are we making that build? That's cool! Are using maximum leveling and starting to die? Go for the, uh, the necrotic one. The one that's linked in the, the chat. It's like pinned to the chat. Go that one. It's really good. If you want, just employ some of the technology that I'm using right now. Like, honestly, you could just, like, copy what I got as well. XMH Park Elite Profile. Make sure you, you, you do, like, the ward technology and then you're good. You just, like, click your bone curse and you absorb it and then you never die. Kind of thing. Even without any gear. I mean, right, Jesse? Like, that's sick, no? Like, go, like, actual minion build so you don't have to worry about fucking... Yo. 
What the fuck? <laughs> he like left. I wish this game had hideouts, bro. I wish. Yo, 1% upgrade. Like, minion build is in, you just don't use the ignite for damage. Well, I mean, like, the ignite for damage part, like, fuck that part. That's just cheesy and it crashes the server, right? Yeah, like, fuck the, you just use the movement speed part. You just use it to get, like, infinite movement speed, that's it. On, like, a minion build. So you're just, like, and your minions are fucking, and you just, you know? But if, if you use Ghost Flame, then how do your minions follow you, chat? Because I thought like the way that RiceQT was making his minion follow him was, was the, with, with the experimental mod, no, on boots? Or am I incorrect? We'll sing from time to time to you? Oh, I see. No, but the boot experimental mod only works with trans... Uh, what is it? Transplant, yeah. I don't know why I always forget the name. Any travel skill? Oh. So you have to... Do you have to, like, tap? Ghost Flame, or do they keep syncing to you as you're using it? How does that work? You don't think Ghost Flame counts? Right. <laughs> so why'd you say any trial skill? <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> hmm. I mean, that, that sounds like a cool build, honestly. Like, minion infinite movement speed. But then again, it's like, it's, it's bogged, right? Like, it's, a, it's, a, it's, it's very bogged. But it sounds cool. You know, if I didn't, if I didn't have to re-push corruption and get my blessings again, I would re-roll like right now, just to test it out, because that sounds really fun. But I'm not gonna do it. I don't want to re-grind. I want to, I want to like get a build to high corruption, bro. It's yeah. You don't teleport? Yeah, I'm aware. Unfortunately. Regarding corruption is such a buzzkill. I do hope that they just give us like some some form of like slider or some shit in the future, because yeah. I agree, it's a bit like this game is very alt unfriendly. That's for sure. It doesn't have a traversal tag, yeah. You're right. It's a bummer. Come dance. I went back for singularity. 
GG. Okay. I want to I want to go run a dungeon because I want to put I want to put this on here. It's like a max rolled int telfu. What about just killing Ghost Flame for damage too? Well, the problem is it crashes servers. So no, I, 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 you don't want to actually... You don't actually want to play Ghost Flame and do the Ignite stuff because you just crash the server and that's not fun, right? Like the build has to be functional. I mean, it would be cool, but yeah. It just it just looks like you would just like crash stuff, and that's it. Yeah, I mean that's true. Assuming they patch it, wait, if they patch it, there's no build, All right? Because the entire build is about like, yeah. Like that weird stacking shit. Okay, what is going on, bro? You know what? I'm gonna put element elemental res. Oh no, that sucks. It died. I was two taps away. Whatever, I'll, I'll just put these boots on there. They're good, right? They're really good, yeah. The rolls are like kinda, kinda ass. I'm gonna divine them once, whatever. Mana efficiency with Ghost Flame. True. I feel like I missed stuff. 
Look, I had way more bases. Oh, I think it's because I put them somewhere, actually. Oh, yeah. If this goes in, we're cooking. Level of Spirit Plague. Mm, we're not cooking. What's up, donkey? Hmm. Ended up being good, but like I need a, uh, I'm missing a prefix. Uh, if I try to spare this, good. Necrotic Rise is good. This needs to go to like a, something useful. Ah, oh, it's fucked. It's just fucked. Oh. It's fucked. I don't think I cooked this. Uh, I don't know. Like, Chaosing sucks, bro. Chaosing is so bad. Like, fuck. Insurance, bro. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Mm. Okay, good. Okay, now we have like a uh, empty slate, but there's no way I there's no way I craft a whole helmet. And this little potential is there. <laughs> Get like 10 critical hits, do it. I dare you. I'm sad. Didn't I not have like a helmet that I could use on this? Like, shit. Crafting items for potential is so hard. The fuck is squirrel? You wanna play squirrel? Play warlock, bro. Come on, insure. What, what is that? I, I hate this game. Uh. Play Warlock.
I mean, you. It's really good. I do feel like when I'm trying to craft stuff for craft uh, for like legendary potential, I just I'm just throwing shit in the bin. Like crafting a perfect helmet is really fucking hard, bro. You know what I mean? It looks so slow. I clear faster than most falconers, bro. I think you're bugging. As an explosive list though? Yeah, because they just die in high corruption anyways. Explosive list is a really fucking good build though. Don't get me wrong. It is very, very, very good. It's like probably one of the best builds in the game at the moment, like, by far. If you want to play that, play that, it's really good. Yeah, I'm, I mean, I've, like, like just literally legit bricked, like, fucking 8 T6, T7 in helmets. Cool. Do I just throw this helmet in the in the fucking blender, bro? Fuck it. What can go wrong? Just throw it in the blender. I think so. Um well, 60k ward is like nothing, right? When they f when they fix us, instead of like 200,000, we're gonna have 40,000 ward, so... It doesn't matter if they fix it. Actually, we, we get damage if they fix us, because there's a lot of nodes on the tree, which are technically supposed to give us like massive multipliers, but they don't do anything. So... You know. Helpless ratio, you're wrong. TLDR. Yeah, surely they'll fix it, right? I mean, I don't. I'm not against them fixing it. It would actually make the build more interesting. The passives are broken. Yeah, there's like a lot of passives that just don't work on on Warlock at the moment. For example, this aspect of death does not work. But Necro Wraith Lord is also very good. But you need you need the helmet for it, otherwise it's dog shit. Online works now, yeah, kinda. I just like dungeons a lot. <laughs> Holy shit. Uh no, the multi the multi works. Like not everything doesn't work. 
Like, some things don't work. What the f- How are they I was spamming W in the loading screen and I spawned and there was like 300 fucking walls around me. Donkey's in use? Bro steals video game Donkey's name and then complains that Donkey's in use. How dare they steal your name, Donkey? Zazabert is free. Honestly, blessing in disguise. Zazabert is a 10 times better name than. Okay, I'm sorry, your name is beautiful. I take that back. <laughs> this is awesome, Bert. Hello. Hello. Bonk. Jewelry T4, by the way. The hardest boss in the game. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna put the boots in the blender first. I, I kind of want this to be good. I would love to have necrotic resistance. Hang on. I would love to get necrotic resistance movement speed or int or something. Come on, bro. <laughs> Come on. Alright, go. That's good. <laughs> what the scary? That's really good. <laughs> Holy shit! What the fuck? It's an extra ten int. Holy shit! How much more movement speed from base? That's the same. Holy f that's really good. <laughs> oh my god. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, that's good. Okay, now I gotta put the helmet in the blender. Those are some pretty, um, those are some pretty nice fucking boots. Now? Oh, time to bring my helmet now. 
I'm, I'm just gonna put in my own helmet. Like, I don't know. It's it's too hard to make a good helmet, so I'm just gonna yeet it in. Fuck it. Wait, what's the other roll on the other necrotic resistance? 55? 48. This one's better. Um, I don't know if this is a good idea, actually. If I lose my helmet, I'm kind of sad. And I don't even know if these boots are, like, better for me. This is the dream. I actually kind of feel like the other boots are still better for me. <laughs> I had no use of the other boots though, so I just figured I would just chuck them in. But like 12 int plus 7? That's so much intelligence. That's surely that's gotta be worth, right? You know what's a bummer? The fact that I get, like, no movement speed. Oh, what the fuck? I have to respect my transplant again. I forget. Uh, oops. <laughs> Why do I do that? In the dungeon, bro. I have to rerun that shit. I am a uh, degenerate. The animations on the Acolyte are pretty fucking cool, but this stupid helmet that I'm wearing is so annoying to look at. That's a big sword, bro. Sheesh. Yeah, you, you just it just crashes exactly like you, you just can't go ignite. So that's why I'm trying to think of like a build that would otherwise only use the movement speed and fuck the ignite. So that the only way that you can actually like have damage happen around you is by having minions, right? So IMO that is the best way to make use of that setup is like Wraith Lord. I can't see a better way. Is he going to kill shit with that speed? I think they'll kill enough to proc the monolith, uh... Like, the monolith objective, though. That's because they just turret, right? Like, it's it, it's not like they don't kill anything. They, they do kill stuff. 
Even even if you're, they're like a screen away. I don't like the song. Heard it fucking 17 million times. You don't know anything about Ellie minions? Rice QT made it like a really good build. I would just like copy that, but like fucking basically like make it meme with the thing. But Ellie minions are like. Super easy. It's kind of like PoE. If it doesn't say minion damage, you don't want it. If it says minion, you want it. It's like, I, I feel like minions are... I don't want to be condescending, but... You know, it's made for like... The, you know? <laughs> minion builds are like... They build themselves. Let's just say that. Yeah, minions and PoE is so shit. Uh, I don't know. PoE does minions really badly, I think. I hate building them as well in PoE. It's like, minion damage? If it says minion damage? Yeah, I take minion damage. If I made an ARPG, I would include minions, 100%, because I've played Terraria, so I know minions can be fucking good and fun. But first of all, I would dedicate myself to make an AI not complete piece of dog shit. Why is it that every fucking game just makes AI dog shit, dude? It's like the most frustrating thing ever. Minions were good in Grim Dawn. I never played Grim Dawn. Like even in Terraria, the minions are so annoying. The the AI sometimes it's like you're supposed to deal really good damage, but you just don't because the AI just sucks. <laughs> it's, it's like man. Alright, this is a T4 Jewelra chat, shh. Oh, she's gonna slam. I forgot to put my damage down. Yo! Cool. Alright, you know what? YOLO, I guess. We, we put in my, my... the helmet that I'm using with a bone clamor. What I want is I want the T7 int and spell curse. Do it. That's not terrible. That's not that bad. I still got the spell curse. It's pretty bad. It's pretty. It's pretty bad. <laughs> It's okay, I, I lost 7 int. It's not that big of a deal. I gained armor, I gained necrotic resistance, I think. I gained dex. And now I actually have like a good HP pool outside of 
you know, I could, I like, now I'm actually like sort of a normal character, <laughs> you know, <laughs> it's, it's not bad. And I did gain seven decks from here, so actually I didn't lose anything. Yo. I need a new chest. My chest is, um, hmm. Yeah. Body armor. I think I tried to craft some chests today and just failed. <laughs> that was the one I tried to craft, sad. I think even if it's like T6 in, it doesn't matter. Because I I still um, get a lot more value out of having like necrotic resistance suffix. The only problem is like we need a decent base to begin. It doesn't look like we really have any, like, actual decent bases. Mm, could be okay. Just gotta get lucky. How much forging potential? 45 is pretty good. This is just rogue shit down. Fire as base, so bad. Minion health, despair it. It's bricked, I think. I went for the Hail Mary. It is what it is. Pyrez, Necrotic Race, go. Ward Resistance, that's good. Mm, if I can save potential. Hello. There's no way I can craft two T5s with 20 potential. No way I can craft two T5s with 10 potential. <laughs> I think level of Chthonic Fisher is like genuinely the best thing I can get as a prefix because as it's paired with damage over time. Ah, <sighs> but the game says no. And I'm sad because game says no. Cool. 50k ward? Uh, you're basically sacrificing your minions HP. It's kind of, it's very cheese. It's kind of bugged too. You're you get forty percent of your minions HP instead of four percent. So that's why the numbers are like one hundred and twenty thousand. Like it's ridiculous, right? You're not supposed to be getting that many. Bone wall, bone wall counts as minion for in-game purposes. All right, well I, I don't need any of this shit, bro. Let's just fucking go back to gaming. Eventually, I'll get better bases and better gear and stuff.
Uh, bone curse. So it's like, boom, you get your bone curses out, and then you consume them with profane veil. And that's how you, like, stack up your crazy amounts. And it's basically just because of, um... Here, Profane Veil has Vampiric Pool, which basically 4% of your minions HP is, uh, is given to you as ward. But instead of 4%, it's it's 40 because uh, somebody typed 1, 2, 0 too many. Somewhere in the code. Thanks for playing. All good, bro. All good. It's, uh, I recommend you play it. It's very strong. Because <laughs> outside of that, even if it wasn't, like, bugged, it would still be insane. So even, even after bug fixes, it'll be very, very, very good. The build is very, very good. Very strong. Definitely the strongest build I've ever played, that's for sure. Yo, what up, Dampin? I'm sad. I mean, my boots are really good, but my, my helmet got totally bricked. I'm sad about that. I still don't know if I want to use these boots. I think my other boots are better. Boots like I feel so slow when I when I when I do the suck. Might be worth actually. Doing one more echo, literally just to get like another quest. I can get like a little bit of uh Yeah. You need to delete this bone curse, profane veil shit ASAP because you don't want to. Okay. Why? Because I don't want to play a build, we must delete something. That's, uh, that's, uh, that's what you sound like there, bro. <laughs> you must be real fun. Full DPS builds are kind of bad in this game. Yeah, a little bit. I mean, they're okay if you just want like boss, one shot bosses. It's like, yeah, very cool. Nice pace, actually. What are you gonna have to support Ella? Giving you 30k ward? What? Oh, I'm dumb. I.
I don't, I don't understand what you mean. What do you mean? Oh, I mean, I don't care. About paladins or supports. Uh, I just like to play games solo. I think it's cool that there's like grouping stuff, but yeah, I don't really, I don't really care. But like, regardless of if if this is nerfed or not, it's, it's still very strong. Like, you, you don't, you don't need like to 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 abuse like the the minion stuff for the build to be good, right? Like, it, it absolutely is way too broken, and it should be nerfed. But it doesn't really matter. Profane duration. You really don't need profane duration. You have, like, way too much profane duration. Like, look at this shit. You could stay in there for, like, days, bro. It's, like, way too long. <laughs> like, uh, yeah. Yeah. It's not like you don't need it at all. Your death has come. Like everything will be nerfed, but who cares? Right? Just have fun while while it's there. That's what ARPGs are for. I don't I don't know. I think people get too upset about balance in ARPGs. Like really. In my, in my, like, decade, I think more than a decade now, playing ARPGs, just learn to accept the fact that shit is broken, and just play the broken shit. It's fun. That's what makes these games fun, when there's, like, broken shit that you can, like, have fun with. Yeah. Just have fun with it. Like, should it be in the game? Maybe not. <laughs> Is it in the game? Yeah, so fuck yeah, I'm gonna abuse it. Like, being ethical in video games, when it comes to, like, skill usage, is like the most cringe dog shit take ever. <laughs> it's like, oh no, I don't play strong skills. Like, I get it, I get it, it's like, why? <laughs> Just fuck it, bro. Shit's funny. But, like, it does deter from, like, the rest of the game, That's, that is that is a problem, but it's like, whatever, bro. Everything has its time, right? Everything, everything is gonna have its time. At least you hope so. Isn't the fun part of ARPGs? Find something powerful and broken to play? Yeah, exactly. The, the thing is though, like, I do understand both point of views, but the fact of the matter is that, like, especially in a game like this one, you'll never have balance. So you may as well just give up on that. That's, that's all. Playing off meta actually makes gear more expensive. I think that's a common misconception people have in Path of Exile 2, where it's like, oh, I'm not gonna play the popular build, the gear is gonna be expensive. But that's not how it works, bro. Because people don't craft for dog shit off meta builds. Therefore, your items, you have to craft them yourself. And crafting yourself is always gonna be more expensive than having like an army of fucking degenerate hideout Andes, crafting them in mass, and then driving the prices down. Like, meta stuff only gets expensive when you're looking at, like, rare pieces, right? Like, for example, if you were to look at, like, Forbidden Flesh and Flame. Just because, like, yeah, the availability of that shit is so low. 
and the amount of players comparative to the availability is so high that it just you just get priced out of that sort of stuff. Brogan will quickly trivialize the game. The thing is, I don't think that matters because there's a reset every three months, or at least you'd hope so, right? If they left it in the game, then yeah, I would agree with you. I think trivializing the game doesn't matter. What matters is the fact that everything else is dog shit in comparison. That's, that's what matters. You can't buff stuff up to the strong skills. It's kind of like in PoE, it's a bit different because the bad skills are so bad. But generally, you, you just can't like buff skills to be all like as strong as each other. Yeah, then you get into the situation where the game just becomes bad because of everything just trivializing. But um. I almost left the map. One thing though, why why does why does fucking... Why does melee have to be dog shit in every game? That's like, the true crime here. Like, why does melee have to be bad in this game? It's really sad. Did I fuck something up with my transplant tree? No, it's good. Oh. Yeah, I'm good. Oh. Hello, brain. Operate. You farm the bell? <laughs> I think Soul Bastion is, uh, like, the, the fireplace is better than Jolra Place, I think. I think Lilith's Arbor is, like, the worst, but... For me, it doesn't get worse than um, Temporal Sanctum. That shit sucks. You can jump through walls. But that's that's a bug. <laughs> I 
But fair enough. It's the holy skull. Is this lag? You can literally jump through every of them. Yeah. Yo, good night, donkey. Hope you feel better, better soon. What is this map, bro? It's like super laggy. I don't think it works on all movement skills, yeah. Shift and transplant works, yeah. I think it's easiest with shift. I like burgers. Yeah, man, who doesn't like burgers? Burgers are great. Do you like burgers, Stampin? Yo, very nice. I'm kind of like, I prefer non-smash burgers. Because I prefer when the meat is like, not super overcooked. I feel like smash burgers always come out like a bit too cooked, you know? Thoughts? Because like smash is like so thin. Yeah, exactly. You'll undercook them? Fair enough. I guess like if you were to get like really good minced meat though, undercooking is fine. Like basically like mit, uh, like steak mince or whatever from a butcher. Like if they mince it for you there, that is. that's Mince is really scary actually, like you don't know what the fuck's going on. So if you ever buy mince from a supermarket, never undercook stuff. <laughs> but if you were to like actually wash them mince it, you could do whatever you want actually. But the last time I went to a butcher was probably like 10 years ago, so... Dude, I don't think we have uh, butchers anymore in Italy. Or, well, no, not in Italy, but in my town, sorry. Italy has plenty of butchers.
My town is uh is a complete piece of shit town. It's basically like it used to be a really nice town, but um it became like a tourist hotspot for various reasons. You know, one the lake, two George Clooney, three I don't know. But anyways. Um so now there's like no more like local food places. There's no more like butchers, there's nothing. And all the old people are like moving out of town. <laughs> it's like it's the, it's a disaster, bro. It's like actual gentrification 101. Well, whenever people are like, oh my god, you live in Como? Como is so nice. It's like, yeah, nice to visit. <laughs> like, imagine fucking living here, bro. Prices went up by like 400%. Kinda. George Clooney has like a mansion somewhere on Lake Como. But no, he's like, he's like somewhere in fucking uh, who knows what. It's kind of deceptive because he's like nowhere close to where I am actually. A George Clooney house Como. Yeah, this motherfucker. Look at his shit. Villa. Olindra. Hey, he's not even in fucking coma, bro. His house is here. And I'm like here, I guess. Wait, no. I guess... I don't know, actually, where his fucking house is. But it's like somewhere, somewhere here. I live like here. Will not take me. Do you need a car? Mm, nah, not really. You don't really need a car anywhere in Europe aside for very few countries. I mean, America is just big, bro. It's just a big country. Everything here is close, kind of. I need to make like a specific filter rule to like highlight affixes that I want uh, in a different color. So for like when I'm lazy, I don't have to like look at items anymore. So many Europeans that just don't understand how big the US is. Mm, I don't know, I think most people understand, it's just, I don't know.
Iron Cup is like a double edged sword, right? Because, like, how much is your rent, for example? Don't want to talk about it? Yeah, exactly. That's the problem. It depends where you live in the US, cities are dog shit. Yeah, but the income isn't much higher in some fucking broke ass country town, right? It's just the averages are like brought up by the fact that like wages are high in cities and whatnot. The burger you made? It looks alright. I don't like the cheese. You know, I'm not gonna lie, like, after, like, as much Geogester as I've done... I don't think I'd ever want to move to, like, an, an A city. Or Canada, for that matter. But to be honest, I don't want to move to any fucking European city either. So there's not really much difference. But if I had to pick, I'd definitely pick a European city. If I had to pick a European city though, what would I pick? That's the better question actually. If I was rich, I'd probably go to like Zurich or something. Zurich is kind of nice. Amsterdam? You don't want to live in Amsterdam, trust. <laughs> I mean, it's a beautiful city, don't get me wrong. It's probably like one of the most beautiful cities in Europe, but holy fuck is it expensive and dirty and full of tourists. I think if you want to move to the Netherlands, uh, somewhere like Utrecht, I think it's like the happy medium between the two. Good thing uh, Opal is not here because he's from Amsterdam. Yeah, whatever you do, just don't go to fucking Den Haag, bro. Fuck that city. I lived in, in The Hague for like four years. It's like, <laughs> Went to Amsterdam once, a guy tried to pickpocket your friend. Yeah, I mean, to be fair, that'll happen in like every big metropolis. I, I lived in Amsterdam for four years as well. Like, I lived in the Netherlands a long time. Actually. I've never been pickpocketed. Maybe because I look poor. <laughs> Could be it. Maybe because I am poor, bro. Aware.
It was definitely poor back then. Like, even more so than now. This Catonic Fisher skill is so fucking sick. Yo, I'm level 100, what the fuck? I just realized. Hog. <laughs> That's a funny joke. Still, they break into cars and steal like steering wheel and electronics. Wait, where? In Amsterdam? Uh. No, I've never seen that. I've not once ever seen broken car windows in Amsterdam. I've never once felt like in danger either in Amsterdam, I'm not gonna lie. And I've done plenty of like. You know, nighttime uh, adventures. The weirdest thing that's ever happened to me, like in terms of like, this is a weird, sketchy situation, is I walked down a street and some dude was getting a blowjob. And I, and I kind of like saw, and then he looked at me and I just like, just started, I was like, oh god. <laughs> I was like, oh no. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> oh, is it real? <laughs> You make eye we, we we like eye lasered each other, you know, like when you get like tasered by someone else's eyes when they like meet you, they go like and you like Tss. that's what happened. I smashed the window of my dad's car when I was a kid and didn't steal anything from the car. What the fuck? If it was the, if there was a queue. <laughs> Never felt more safe than in Japan. Really? Don't Japanese people like hate everyone that's not Japanese? I'm not, I don't. I don't want to like generalize too hard, but. It doesn't seem to be like very much like, yo, we like you guys out here. Type of thing going on in Japan. You have XMH Park Ellie profile, you can see it there. Uh, Eddie Profile. I think I made my build worse, by the way, by using, by this thing, this helmet. Giga Sag. Because I lost a little bit of CDR, so that brought my cooldown to like 0.4 seconds longer than my haste. I'm actually kind of Sag.
Also, it somehow feels like I've lost movement speed, which is weird. How did I mo lose movement speed? Like, what is that? I remember seeing 100% increased movement speed. And now I'm like 74. Why? Yeah, where did the haste effect go? I, I don't know. I, I don't know. I did something. Something happened. <laughs> I fucked something up. What have I done? Uh... I mean, I, I, I have this. Uh, did you change boots? No, like these, these, I didn't change boots, no. Yeah, I know. The plus skill random thing is so fucking annoying. Yo, damp it subscribed! Holy shit! Thanks for the prime sub. It's a fucking momentous moment, dude. I'm gonna cherish it for the rest of my life. I made these boots, though, look. Pretty good boots, but yeah, they're worse, I think. Are they worse? I'm not sure. Are they worse? Yeah, they're worse, because the cooldown. What's a fleeting... Mm, wait, that's the passive, right? Hang on, haste effect. Yeah, I got that. I don't know. I don't know what I did. I remember seeing 100. Hmm. Maybe I'm bugged. Like genuinely. <laughs> like it could be that like if I uh, if I like alt F4 and go again. It would like fix itself, maybe. Maybe I had a shrine? I don't- I really don't think so. Yeah, Ellie has profile viewer. They do, it's really nice. So you guys can see like my- my build's progress. Yeah, I think it's a new thing that uh, Ellie Tools has de uh, developed. Ellie POB. I wonder if Max Roll's working on something like that. Actually, I, I probably don't think so. Like, hardly doubt that like, it's worse for Max Roll to do something like that. Unless it's like on the website, right? Maybe I should ask them. Because they probably already have all the, all the tools needed to do something like that. One more league and it's PV2 beta? I know, bro. You're gonna make me cry. Been waiting for this game my entire life. <laughs> like, literally. Put me in a fucking time sh capsule, bro. It was just yesterday when they were announcing it? No, bro, shut up. It's been a fucking like 17 lifetimes since they announced it. What is you saying, bro? 
Like, think about it, bro. You went out, you got a job, you fucking graduated, you fucking got a, got a wife, you got, like, now, like, almost three kids on the way. Like, bro, listen. Think how much has changed since. <laughs> Shut up. Stop. Thank you. Still jerking at your parents? Exactly, bro. I don't know why, I, I just like hate those like movie fucking quote things people put in music, I just hate it. Why is this song Omega Giga Quiet? Hello? Sorry, I'm skipping until it's like... For shatter shitter. <laughs> huh? For the beta? I hope not too expensive. <laughs> have, have mercy, GGG, please. No, they did say they want like more people in the beta, like a lot. They said they want a lot of people, yeah. It was ten dollars. Oh, that's fine. As long as it's not like a fucking, you know. Yeah, a gorillion dollars. People who have spent more than a thousand dollars on PewDiePie get priority. You know, I don't. I don't even think I've spent more than a thousand dollars on PewDiePie. I don't even like the MTX they make. At least most of it. I don't even like the concept of MTX. I hate MTX. Like, I get that it's necessary, but I don't like it. Like, I kind of, like, would rather see the gear that I've earned on my character, rather than the gear that I paid for. Bet you like stash tabs? Only because I have to buy them. I mean, I don't, I don't really care if it's shit. I'd still rather... Rather see the armor that I've earned. Yeah. 
The models in PO2 look fucking amazing, yeah. They look really, really, really good. I mean, the thing is, they haven't showed how good MTX looks in PoE 2, right? So I'm 100% certain your MTX is gonna look fucking badass. I like the art of gear specific to your build? Yeah, like, it's not that I don't like the MTX they make. Like, some of the MTX they make is very cool looking. I just don't like the, the concept. There's something cool about, like, seeing your gear and being like, fuck yeah, that's my shit. <laughs> that's my build. Or, like, I've heard that shit. I get satisfaction out of that, but I think I'm in the minority for this kind of stuff. Degenerate. An exile? Nope. Mm, well, I think the MTX price is fine, honestly. The MTX price in PoE is not based off of like people buying points individually. It's based off of supporter packs, and supporter packs are good value for what you get. Like, I know it's, like, kind of, like, deceptive value, but still, they're good value, all things considered, when you look at them compared to, like, other games. Your character will look dumb as fuck. Yeah, but that's because, like, MTX are a product of their time, right? I mean, sorry, uh, the, the models are just like fucking ancient. But I don't, I don't think it matters that you look dumb as fuck. That's what I mean, I'm like, I'm, I'm in the minority, bro, like... Like, even if, like, Fighter Torso looks fucking dumb in OSRS, you still fucking equip that and you're like, fuck yeah, bro, I've earned that shit. You know, it's your, it's your Fighter Torso. <laughs> it's like, yo. I worked hard to get there, bro. But the OSRS does have, like, sets. Once you get into like end game stuff. Where's the temple guard in here? Oh I found I found the like Echo Guardian before having discovered him. What's the, what is that? My bro is like doing some weird lagging shit.
It's like zero good rewards. That sucks. You hit the surfboard? I'd rather the surfboard than like, uh, I don't know. At least it's like kind of funny. Also the MTX are like, just completely like, way too gaudy. I'd rather the goofy dumb shit than the... I don't know, like... Fucking triple decker fire demon wings. The thing is, like, minimalistic MTX doesn't sell. It's the, I think it's the reason why they don't do it, right? So it's like... To be fair, even if the minim even if the MTX was, like, minimalistic, I'd probably still hardly buy it, so... I'm happy they're making their money, you know? Like, make the bag, I guess. It's just not designed for me, I think. With the whole MTX system. Plus, PoE is like such a single player game, right? Like, half the shit I say doesn't even matter because it's like a single player game. Dumb. <laughs> like, y y you know, you're like. It's your own gameplay, it's your own character. You have to stare at him, no, no one else. What's gonna happen first? Will GG send me a t-shirt or will PoE2 come out? <laughs> Probably PoE2 will come out, bro. GG has a bad track record when it comes to fucking sending t-shirts. <laughs> Can I just buy them? It's like when you buy like supporter packs in PoE, you get a t-shirt with them, but they take like years to arrive. Not years, but they take a long time to arrive.
It was worse when they used Jinx as their supplier? Really? You'd think that Jinx would have the infrastructure at least. Since, you know, that's what they do. What the fuck? Fiberglass? In your mattress? So is, is your shirt bricked because it got fiberglass on it? The drops come back on the first, really? Is it new drops or is it like a rerun? A rerun gun. I thought my damage was like start to feel lower, but I got like 400 corruption today and my damage just felt the same at the start of the day as it does now. Am I still standing up for Captain Lance for me? <laughs> no, 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 you just you just go for two LP. Yeah, you want to get like crit multi and penetration on your ladle, ideally. Those are the two bis bis stats. Brage, bro, brage. Really? What the fuck? You can kind of target farm ladle. But it's a bit annoying. Basically like spam reset in zones. Uh, because some zones have the chest like spawn very close to the entrance. Too gruesome. It's not gruesome, bro. <laughs> it's fine. We all, we all, you know, uh, stand up to Captain Lance from times. Yeah, basically, POE streamer. Um, what's his name? Snoobe. Forgot his stream was on, and then he walked back into his room and started jerking off. But luckily. Uh, below his waist was like off cam. And uh, there was Captain Lance like playing in the background. So 
that's the TLDR. That's why you stand up for Lance, because bro just fucking jolts in the room. No socks. I actually did have socks, didn't he? I don't know. I don't remember whether it was like no socks or socks, socks on or off. <laughs> yeah. That's the TLDR. <laughs> I mean, it's so lucky, yeah, like... I don't know, it's, it's not, not, not lucky, but it's so lucky that Below the Waste was uh, off cam, yeah? Holy shit. That's, uh... Could be a lot worse than what it was, that's for sure. He took off his socks before. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you gotta get the, the cooling system going, you know what I'm saying? No, not Captain Lance. Uh, Snoobay. Well, because, like, technically, like, plausible deniability, right? I, I could do this right now. Right? But, like, prove that I was actually jerking off. Like, do you know what I mean? <laughs> Clipped. Chat. What the fuck is trying to trap me? Everything I do. You are joking, right? No, but like it's not it's not like he was like jerking off to Lance like I'm pretty sure he had something else on his screen But we couldn't see it <laughs> We could just see him and uh, Wait, what was on screen actually was it PoE? I don't remember. I I, I didn't really like um, Analyze the clip too much if I'm honest with you Lance's picture was on stream. <laughs> Have you ever seen the true face of God, Exile? Yes. Watching it on my stream. Surely. Holy fuck, it's 2 a.m. again.
My sleep schedule changed? Changed by changed, you mean it's completely fucked? Yeah. It is. Blessings. Uh, you can see it in uh, the Ellie profile as well. Profit Veil is a good MOBA skill. What the fuck do you mean? Why am I still playing chat? Hello. I'm like dying IRL. Full tip DPS? Yeah, I mean, it's not indicative of your actual damage, that's for sure. Wait, do the levels go beyond 100 now? Oh, that's fucking cool. Here, we need this. Like, virtual levels. Like, seriously, Pewee needs this. It's, it's like free content, bro. Yeah, 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 don't look at the tooltip. XP converts into loot? What the fuck? Really? Why? Yeah, the XP continues after 100, bro. It looks like... You don't actually get levels, but it, you know. I forgot to use my favor. <laughs> I have like 200k. She.
Um, Necrotic Pen and Crit Multi from Tree for damage is best for that. Yes. I well, ideally you, you want to get, like, if you're talking about the weapon, you want to get Multi and Pen, yeah. But you would rather have, uh, you'd rather have, like, your Multi, T7 or whatever. Yeah, what up, Sam? Wait, did I consume the ice beetles with profane? Damn, I didn't even realize. All right, but I gotta go chat. I gotta go, holy fuck, it's late. Holy fuck, it's late. Okay, thank you for, thank you for watching guys. I appreciate it. Thanks for being here as always. Oh seven. I hope to see you guys tomorrow. Love you, chat. Goodbye. Goodbye, boys. Bye, everyone. Peace.